esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a Fanta. Eh. Si la dejas Because we did a whole lot of unplugging and replugging, and ah, okay. the we computer was cleaning. forgets. We was cleaning and painting, making sure we got rid of all the spider webs for Lauren to come through. We got a motherfucking guest. Are they still saying no? No, no, no. it still... works. Oh, I, okay, I okay. See okay, yes, it's on. It's Just on. There we go. Yeah, there's a little. <laughs> there's a little. It says start over. It's fixed. We back. Okay, okay. cool. Dude, right when we logged on. We said some wild shit, like some shit we've both been keeping a secret forever, and y'all didn't so, catch it. So juicy. So if you didn't catch it, we're so sorry. Next time, next time, you know, Ido will get the mics right. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it no, wasn't we didn't meant say to much. be. Yeah, no, we didn't say not much. We just said we're so happy to be here, and we're so happy she made it. Well, you were yeah. saying, why couldn't you move the why traffic with your mind? Why couldn't she move mind? the traffic with her mind is what somebody said, and she said she did. I did, yeah. I asked God. I was like, hey, God. Could you please move the traffic? And I made it here a lot faster than I thought I would, so. She sure did. She's not even blowing smoke. She really did. She I told me I might be here, there at 7. And she, when she got here, look, it's 6.52, and she already got here like 10 minutes ago, so. Yeah. She did it. I did she it. She did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, you, I'm sorry. You brought me tequila. Times. You got a little bit of sake. We got you j Japanese food. We, yeah. I ate a bit of fried chicken. Today. We on different. <laughs> Shorty different. sounds healthy. <laughs> From different countries uh, today. She's healthy. I got fried chicken and tequila. She got sake and Japanese. Shorty's classy. I love that. So how you, you know, feeling? How's your new year treating you? I feel I feel good. I feel really good actually. I'm I'm just kind of like on some very mellow shit. So, yeah. Yeah. What I, does that mean? I just got home from Miami mm -hmm. and I went to Portugal for New Year's. And I've just been on some wholesome shit, like just hanging out with my family, sober, like not doing anything. I haven't been smoking. <gasps> really? I know. Wow. It's crazy. I know. We're going to talk to you guys about the piña video, and we're going to talk to you guys about how I felt with that last shot that everybody, I'm glad you all thought it was so worth it for me to shoot that last shot, because if I can tell you the truth, I felt like a punk ass bitch. I, drew, I was like, take me home right now. I'm high as fuck. And Lauren walked up to me and goes, are you fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, and you're fucking me up even more. Yeah, no, it was bad. It was bad. It was like a, it was so subtle too. We did, no, that's not true. We took, we did a lot of takes. We did. That was the issue. Is that snow don't be smoking like that? Smoke weed every day. I, yeah, that's me. So yeah, I, you know, I'm out here always smoking weed every day. But you're not smoking right now. I'm not right now. Why? What happened? I got a fucking sinus infection <gasps> shit that I had for so long and I was like, I need to get rid of this and I can't be smoking while I'm trying to get rid of it. So I stopped smoking. Wow. That's mature. That's grown. That's Isn't great. It? Yeah. Yeah. That's not very likely or like me, but you know, we're opening new doors. It's 2023. We're growing into our best versions of ourselves. Facts. I so. feel like that's that's how I was feeling too about like, you know, like, you know, drinking or, <laughs> you know, hanging, clubbing, all that. I'm like, let me stay, you know, and we've been cooking from scratch. Me and baby Drew, he made his own buttermilk okay. and then he breaded some chicken Ooh. and we've been, you know, like going shopping and talking and driving and just hanging out. So it's been very good. I get, I that feel you on the wholesome. Wholesome. I feel We're on, on our wholesome, wholesome shit in this beginning of the years. Yeah. Except today because I'm going to drink sake apparently. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> they asked me, why they asked me what i want to drink and i was like oh, i told they like through resistance they were like oh what do you want to drink i was like oh i'm cool with water you know like some mountain valley whatever and <laughs> snow calls me and is like hey i don't know if this is just your assistant or whatever but like do you really just want water like what and i was like <laughs> yeah well, because, because we talked about this shit and i'm like dude the whole thing like we fucking be drinking on this podcast so i'm like that's like like look at me like what, yeah. do, what would i do if i'm not drinking like what am i gonna do here yeah i that and here i you am wanna play pick up sticks? Have some sake you wanna play jenga i you know what that'd be fun as fuck we can play pick up sticks and jenga oh no i mean we could drink a little bit while we do it <laughs> drink <laughs> no that'd be that would be fun all right cool all right we'll play we'll bring some games we, you know what um heads up or s s that game what is that other game where you go like this and you pass it and then it goes like that has a little uh, timer the little phrase. head thingy no catchphrase. But no, it's a no. No, yeah, that too. What's catchphrase? What catchphrase? So it's like a ticking time bomb, and you keep passing it, and you have to guess what what like you have to give you hints, and then you have to guess, and then the same way, and then whoever has it when the bomb goes off, you know, can oh. drink some sake. Oh, it might okay. Might not be called that. Oh. The heck is it called? It's called it's called catchphrase. Mm. I, I still didn't understand the premise, but it's okay. It's kind of like the heads up game. Okay. Kind of like that, but but you stare at it. Oh no, yeah, stare it's catchphrase. At yeah. What? 
Es un, it's una uh, bola. It looks like this. Uh -huh. And you have it like this, and then it has a name in the middle. And okay. then as you're reading it, like, for let's say it says deer. I'm going to be like, oh, it's brown. It's an animal. It's a blah, oh, blah. Okay, and okay, look, okay. it's like that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. But the whole time it's ticking. Ah. So when it goes off, you know. I like that. Look at that. That was an investment for the podcast. Here, but do $18. You, do you have it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we lit. have it up there in the house. Yeah. Oh, for, perfect. Right I would oh, love brother, to do brother. a drinking game. That, may, yeah. that makes it more fun for me. Of course. Just, just drink. Yeah. You think we're just some <laughs> fucking alcoholics that are sitting around like degenerates? No. Don't leave that to Ellen DeGeneres. I don't know. I feel like you should have zoomed in on my face in that one. What? You think I'm a fucking degenerate? <laughs> Maybe not a degenerate, but an alcoholic. Wow. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. The truth comes out. She thinks I'm an alcoholic, guys. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. You know, we all have our things. I don't think so. I don't. I can't remember when's the last time I drank besides this. I think on New Year's I took a half a shot. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... Let's go. On Chris. I'm proud of you. I drank very little. I went to sleep. And then um, I think the last time that I really drank, I think, was it on this podcast or was it the day after? So my friend Angel was tra was um, here from Mexico, it, um, and he's a very known rapper from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just going out and drinking. I was trying to show him a good time in L.A. because I was like, move to L.A. I need friends. And so <laughs> we went out a lot. But he's mad famous. Like, everywhere we went, it was just like, oh, I took him to La Cita? Bro, that shit was fucking wild. Like, by the way, that's where we shot the piña video. Yeah. And we had a good time. And, bro, that shit was like, that is his demographic, bro. Like, mm. it was just like, God his damn. Mm -hmm. I love that for him. Yeah, no, it was super dope. And um, I mean, that's kind of exactly what happened when we went together. What? To La Cita. Oh, my demographic? <laughs> yeah, that's your demographic as fuck as well. We mm. were like, everybody was stopping the snow like every two seconds when we were there. We were trying to be incognito and just have like a, a night. Yeah. And that didn't work. I love having that, by the way. Like with, with friends of mine that might like, you know, have a fan base and I have a fan base and we're, whatever. I like to have those nights where we just like dipping through and fucking nobody knows us and shit like that, you know, ski mm. mask or something. Ski I don't mask know. energy. How can we do that? We can't <laughs> in Los Angeles. I feel like I've tried. And I feel like also in L.A., because people are so used to seeing different artists or famous people, they don't do it as much. Yeah. West Hollywood, I feel like people do, only because they be drunk. Some yeah. girl was, like, secretly recording me the other day, and I was like, can you not? I hate the secret recording, bro. Like, if you're going to, if you want a picture or a video, like, talk to me. Don't be fucking in the corner, like. Yeah. It's weird. I know you're this doing, doing this. That's this the, girl's doing this. That's the worst when they're like, <laughs> oh, I'm just here. Look, I'm just going to do an example. Oh, I'm just texting right? my friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the worst. Bruh, it's just, just be like, it's just awkward as fuck. You see baby Drew's face. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's my face when somebody's filming me. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking serious? It's just interesting because it's like, I, I don't know. It's very um, dehumanizing. Yeah, I think is the best way to put it. Absolutely, especially when you're like, I'm trying to have a good time. Let's say the person that I'm with doesn't isn't doesn't want that attention, mm -hmm. and now you're making them uncomfortable, and now you're ruining my fucking night. How do you know this is not my first fucking date? And now you're like doing some weird shit, mm. bringing up exes and shit. And you're like, mm. bro, this is like that's can weird. You not do this shit. That is very weird. guys. Uh, just a word of advice: don't bring up exes. I need don't a do that. I like, how post. whack is that? Like, imagine some stranger coming up to you and asking you about your fucking ex. Right. Because they just feel like doing that. Like, that's weird. Yeah. You don't do that to people. Do you do that to your friends? Like, for real? But some people, that's what's weird. And that's what I've been realizing lately, that whenever somebody comments some weird shit, I think about, yo, that might be the person they are. We all have friends who, you like, so. always bring up drama. Not me. Okay. At some point in your life when you were unhealed and not the best version of yourself. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I've gotten rid of so many bitches. Okay, okay so we, we get that. Like, after a certain amount of time, you get rid of people. But at, at some point in your life, you've had those people that every time you see them, they just bring up, like, hey, so did you hear about, you know? And you're just like, dude, I just don't want to hear about it. Ooh, so we got options. We do. A bop it? Family feud. We've bop got a it. Bo a family feud? Catchphrase. Wait, that could be so fun. How do we turn that into a drinking game? <laughs> if you're wrong, you drink. Yeah, you <laughs> I've never played this. One. You know what is it? You don't gonna have to be Steve Harvey to us though, or something. Oh shoot, mustache! Edo, get your mustache out. <laughs> Look at my shot glass. Pull your mustache out. Wow! Right, that's it's so beautiful, so guys. I love it. And I signed it, even I though it's love, mine. I love. Like, I just wanted to sign. Do I get one too? The ass. Yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah, got the titty? the titty. Oh, beautiful! Oh, I love I titties. Like, yeah. Gorgeous. Ass and titties. Are you an ass man or a titty man? Me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Like, what's your like? If you out of these two, if you were to pick. Um, it's hard for me to pick. I like them both. I know. I love ass though, but I yeah. love, I love a titty. Yeah, nice. 
Yeah, it's nice titty titties are nice. It's like classic yeah. too. It's like yeah. very classic. It's like here you are. Here you are. Here Good. you are. Good and you're beautiful. I love women's bodies. <sighs> Don't we all? Yeah. We love them. All right. So yeah. shit. Um so you go drink that. I need to if I'm going to drink anything, I need to water mine down cuz I'm not drinking sake. That shit puts me to sleep. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, well, I don't okay, know. The only thing I the only time I've ever drank that is on dates and that usually puts me to sleep, so that's not a I mean, <laughs> We don't, yeah, we don't want that. I don't want you asleep. I feel like if I do tequila, the thing is, I smell tequila from a distance and my whole body says, no. What have you like done that, on tequila? Like, a lot. Shit. Yeah. Tequila, tequila gets me rowdy. Rowdy? Yeah. <gasps> have you ever gotten a fight in your life? Never. Oh. Like a we physical love that fight? for you. Yeah. No. Except with my brother. Oh, you fought your brother? We, yeah, we, when we were little, we used to fight a lot. Actually. Ido rolled me out of his room once. I never let him live it down because he did roll me out of he his fucking room. He rolled you out? He, like, grabbed my arm. Like, I turned into a ball, and then he rolled me out of his fucking room. <laughs> and I was offended. <laughs> you know, you, you brought me more water, but there's no tequila, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant I'm going to water down the tequila, but <coughs> you just keep bringing me more and more water. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he rolled me out of his room, and it was very offensive. That sounds offensive. But. It sounds very, like, manhandled. Well, especially, I didn't live at the house anymore. I, was, I had moved out. Give me the dog. Oh, so you moved. were grown. Well, I was 18. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty grown. 17. I moved out of my house, out of my mom's house when I was like 17. And then and um, I got married at 19. Coño. So, yeah, when I came back, it was like, my brother was like, get the fuck out of my room. And he fucking rolled Getting me out. Getting married at 19 sounds wild. Oh, my God. Well, I could never. I only rolled you out because you wouldn't get out on your own. You wouldn't walk out. So <laughs> the only way. <laughs> the only solution was to roll you. Well, yeah, you like sat down, which was the perfect defense. I was stress. I, I was trespassing. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even. You don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember why you were rolled out. No, I think I was laughing. <laughs> I think first he was like, "Get out!" And then I started cracking. I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" I think I was just taking it as a joke until I was physically being removed. That's when I was like, "What is happening?" And I thought it was even funnier to I'm be honest. Being controlled. I thought it was even funnier. But Should I get the sake ready? Yeah. Like you yeah. just got the tequila ready. I got yeah. I poured half the butt of tequila. I'm gonna put some water, even though that might be nasty. But to be honest, after half COVID, butt. I can't taste shit. Anymore. Okay, Jumai. Sounds nice. I like the blue bottle. Jumai get lit. <laughs> Jumai, <laughs> you Jumai. <laughs> so what? I haven't like? drank in a minute, so this is gonna be fun. Catchphrase. What do or they make sake out of? Rice. What? I think it's fermented rice. Nice. That's I might be wrong cool. about that shit. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, let me oh, check. Yeah. We got a profile for everyone. Ready? Oh, Price. it's gluten free! Fantastic, because I'm now gluten free. Everybody, fun mm. fact about me. Um, Weren't you that when I met you? I no, I I <laughs> had an intuition about it, okay. but then I really actually have hard facts now that I am gluten intolerant. Oh, intolerant. Okay, yeah, what like is I gluten have, I have exactly? Celiac. Um, gluten. This <laughs> question. It's a byproduct of wheat. It's basically wheat. Mm. Um, and like the top of the wheat. That's put. It's like an all bread shit, breaded shit. I don't know why they would tell me this is gluten, but a lot of alcohol has gluten in it. Actually, I think tequila has gluten in it. I don't think. I think that vodka that I have, that Ving vodka, they don't. They don't ah. um, have gluten. Yeah, in there's it. certain vodkas that don't too. And they're LGBT too. So oh. they send me bottles and they're lit. Absolutely, oh, yeah, shout out. Do they make it from corn or? So this has citrus and Asian pear aromas with a smooth finish, and the rice they use is. Koshihikari. <laughs> oh wow. We like that. That was good. We All like right. that. Yeah, Shorty is, you know, she's out here. She's been in cultures. Cultural. <laughs> you gotta yes. cover. You gotta cover it Culture. up so it doesn't spill out. Oh shit! Oh, the titty. Oh, the titty. Yeah. Oh, the titty. Got a nobody fucking, told me. They the got a carb. Nah, <laughs> nobody, yeah, nobody, I, <laughs> nobody told me the titty I, could or, spill. Well, you could drink out of that. <laughs> the titty is fucking breastfeeding right now. Oh, oh, oh shit! Hold on, I'm shoot. drinking out the ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so inappropriate, man. Inappropriate as hell. Can I get a little napkin? Yeah. I just, Sorry. The titty spilled things All everywhere. Right. Okay, so how does this work? Hold on. Name the part of the body you use the most from the waist up. From the waist up? There, we can ask each other questions and we can see who gets the right answer. Is there a timer involved or, or just um, free falling? Free, free falling, free balling, free all of it. Free falling. All right, so here we go. Name the part of the body you use most from the waist up. Maybe the other two people will race, like you and Ido. Okay. Because oh. Ido's going to drink too. Okay, 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 cool. So Get then the it'll be whoever gets the, the the top one first. Okay, wins. Wins. We have to drink? I don't know. 
Well, how no, the other one has a drink. The other one? Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, one more time. Start again. <laughs> Name the part of the body you use more, most from the waist up. The brain. Yeah. The head. You stole my answer. N- no. no. You oh, gotta say oh, one. Oh, you okay. both got it's it wrong. It's your turn uh, Your mouth. No. But it's your true. Nose. I mean, it's in your here. Eyes. Those your eyes. Your eyes. Okay, do you guys want to do what's in here or what's the top? No, okay, so oh, okay. We, how about we keep, how about we each say something, and if they're both in there, whichever one has the highest or the closest to the top has ah. get, wins. Okay. Yeah? Okay, well, I think, what did you say? I said the brain. Before, first. after that. After that, I said eyes. Okay. No hmm. mouth? Said mouth. Yeah. Okay. Which okay, one's so, higher? Well, that one, the mouth is higher. Ah. Woo! It was hands, which I don't know how that's from the waist up isn't oh sorry isn't your hands lower than the waist <laughs> yeah huh because it says hands my hands are lower than the waist yeah, yeah. i don't know i it guess says some hands. people got little hands i guess like Dinosaur where it hands. connects to your little body. t-rex arms <laughs> said uh, yeah it said arms all right you read it all right read one and all right me and it'll go okay tell me something people in florida do a lot more <laughs> than people in minnesota why did i get this the Florida person. The Floridian gets the card about Florida. Man. People, people in Florida do Floridian more things. Though. People in Florida do more things than people in what? Minnesota. Drugs. Um, sunburn. Suntan. Okay. Oh, da, da, da. So drugs. Uh, um, ah. And you said suntan? Yeah. Honestly, it's not here either. So, so do um, I get another uh, try? Yeah, you get another try. Mm, wrestling alligators. Okay, well. Uh, um, uh, people, so uh, let me repeat the question one more time. Ready? Tell me something people in Florida do a lot more than people in Minnesota. Um, go to the beach. Oh. Aha! Ding, yes, ding, 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 ding! That's literally, Drink, that's know. the number one answer, too. Yes, I was going to say bath salts, but Going Jello's in. in the chat. We don't want to piss her off. Oh, Jello's from uh, uh, from Tampa. Wait, are you? Wait, why where are you from? No, you're from Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Is Jello out here doing bath salts? Like, <laughs> no. why would she get offended? <laughs> well, I don't want to offend Floridians. I don't uh, have much of a fan base in Florida, hey, so true. I'm trying to I don't, get it. I don't, um, I don't claim being a floridian too much like i'm a miamian you know like i'm from miami i feel like florida and miami are two separate worlds i mean if somebody from miami does something they're still gonna say florida man it's true they always think yeah the news claims claims miami as florida for sure right but But i I feel i just feel like culturally we're just different we're not the same yeah we're not the south like that we're like northern Northern Caribbean. Oh, you don't got a freaking um uh porta potty shot glass. Oh, that's cute. You wanna, do you want, you want sake tequila? or do you want tequila? He's a big guy. He needs tequila. Look at this <laughs> guy. God, I'm gonna stick to my roots, buddy. Mm-hmm. All right. This here. is yummy. Another one. This is. I feel like I'm not really. I, I'm gonna have to ditch the titty because. Oh yeah, it has a like hole. Give her one. another. Oh no! I mean, oh. ditch the the nipple. I should say. Oh. Okay. And just shoot it from the back. Hey, <laughs> heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Besides Thanksgiving, name a holiday when people eat too much. Wait, wait, wait. What? Besides Thanksgiving, name a holiday people eat too much. Fourth of July. Wait, what about me? You? you what you mean? You answer. Give me some. Ah, see. Did you get Oh, them? okay. Oh. You wanted to, Okay. Oh, true. My bad, bro. Yes, you're a part of the game. <laughs> take some. Take like, like a deck oh, of cards for you to have over there yeah. so you don't have to keep getting up. This is favorite. He loves board games. I love games. Literally, games are my... I love games. All right, who's going to answer this? Oh. Ido, listen. Hey. Besides Thanksgiving, name a holiday when people eat too much. Oh, uh, Christmas. You got it. Oh. Wait, but you didn't have... Okay. Uh, she I said 4th of July. July. Oh, oh cheers. Because right. it revolves around barbecuing. Yeah. Christmas. I eat way too much. Do I have to take a whole shot oh when we do this? Is that like the vibe? Like, do I take a shot or something? Whatever you or, like, feel comfortable sip? with. We're all about consent around here. <sighs> I like that. Um, especially since I'm just zipping. I'm not even getting the answer wrong. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just gonna. Mm. All right. I'm it's just your, being a good it's sportsman. My, my turn. Oh, Ido hasn't done one for us too. You're so right. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Past or present name? Wait. What? <laughs> this man can't read. <laughs> no, no. It literally <laughs> says this is the words. Past or present name of a famous wall. Great Wall the China. Berlin Wall. <laughs> what? Uh, Berlin or China? Which one wins? I wonder if it'll focus. That looks like me without my glasses. It seems unfocused. There we are. Either. Ah, whatever. Who wins? Uh, Great Wall of China is number one. Yes. Berlin <laughs> Wall is number two. Ah. I did uh, good though. Almost doesn't count. 
I didn't but know didn't do good, Vietnam good had a wall either. I didn't know Vietnam had a wall. That's the third, and then the Wailing Wall. All right, you got to read one to oh, us. I've heard of the Wailing Wall. Yeah. All right, my turn. Okay. Name a complaint a goldfish might have about the bowl he lives in. 30. You win. I know. <laughs> Dang, I was still trying to fucking figure out that question. I know. That a was goldfish a- might have a complaint? Yeah. I mean, what's number two? Okay, dirty, number two. But what's your guess? Let's see if you guess one. Or one. Mm, hungry. No. Lonely. No. Cold. No. Stinky. Mm, mm, that's dirty. <laughs> that would include. Too small. Too small is the second one, yes. Wow. Okay, so that's Dang, two shots you for you, baby. Winning. I literally right, every Two night, shots for you. Every night I go to sleep with the game show network on. I respect that. And I used I, to do the same. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was either the food network or the game show network. Lingo. It's perfect. Cause have you ever played like the 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 what was it the one that you have to like connect the words like there's like six words in between. Oh, I love like, that. I one. love that shit. I forgot what it's called, but I liked it. Uh, Maybe it is lingo. Chain? Right? No, chain something chain. chain. Something, something word chain. chain. Word chain. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. Yeah. That's only thing when you say the word chain reaction, I just think of Remy Ma. <laughs> <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> oh Immediately yeah, that's Remy. The, I've been wanting to play that game where like it's really not a game, but like what is it like? You say a word, and then I say the first word that comes to mind, and then you say, and then we just go as fast as possible to see how far we can get from whatever word we were at. I want to do that at some oh, point. Oh, like word Not association? Not right now, because I can't think. Word association. <laughs> yeah. So, Somebody said Trump wall in the chat. <laughs> Jesus. That never got built. Yeah. I think like two feet of it got built, and people literally slide off it like a fucking... Yeah, he couldn't get, the, he couldn't get people to pay for it. <laughs> so sad. Stupid. Stupid Trump. Stupid. See? Florida's not all Republican. No, I'm just joking. It's really not. So who's next? Me or you? You ask us? It's, or we it's ask, Ido's ask turn, you? technically. Me? Again? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Name something one family member might steal from another. Clothes. Mm. Not Money. Number, not number one. Well. Los terrenos de Mexico. <laughs> the will. No. Nah. Well, she, you said one and two. Okay. What was it? Clothes and oh, money? Drink. Money was number Clothes one. Clothes and money. Clothes and shoes was number two. That's horrible. These people have terrible families. Clothes make sense, but money? You expect number one is money to be stolen money, by family? Clothes, shoes, food, jewelry, lover. <gasps> Whoa. Scandalous. Dramatic. Scandalous. That is so scandal. Who's stealing Coño. their, their part? Their fucking the family friend, is family's? feuding. That's, that's, that's a real, real family feud right there. For real. Wait, so did you take a shot? Yeah, I just did. Right, guys? Tell her. I didn't see it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Die. Uh, right. I felt that for you. Uh, Yikes. Mm-hmm. All right, your turn. Oh, okay. And then we should do catchphrase. Name something <laughs> to which some people love to give away the ending. A movie. movie. You uh, technically said it before her, so what do you guys want? All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Y'all both did say it the same, though. Yeah, a movie, a book, a joke. Ra. I was going to say book next. Yeah, so scandalous. You did good. All right. Yeah. Name something people make a wish on. A star. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Fountain. It's not number one. Wait, Whoa, wait, it's not number one? Get- you got to give them a chance. Uh, you get number one and number two without somebody... With them. You are super right about that. Is that number one? Fountain? No, fountain is not... The <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so I got two and three. Or three no, no, no. The fountain right. is two and Make three. A wish. The fountain oh, and the star. birthday cake. Birthday cake. Candles was fourth, unfortunately. Oh, so my therefore gosh. Therefore, you must drink, sir. All right. Damn, what was it? The number one is wishbone. Shut the fuck oh up. There God. ain't no way that more people make a wish on a wishbone than a star. That I I agree with that actually. But I Have definitely you ever made a wish on a wishbone. Absolutely. Growing up, whenever my dad would get a rotisserie chicken for dinner from Publix, <laughs> we'd always do that. That was like a tradition. Aww, to like find nice. the wishbone and then break it together. I only did that when I saw that on a TV show. Like I saw white people do it, so then I did it, and I'm pretty sure I did it like with my brother. Mm. But like our family didn't do it. My mom don't know nothing about no wishbone. Mm. She's like, uh, get the refried beans in the fucking fridge. My dad taught me about that. So that's dope. Aww. Go get the beans. Refried beans. Even though I realized that you like refried beans, I don't like refried beans. I love refried I love beans. beans. I like ta- uh, frijoles de la olla. That's my shit. Okay. De la olla? Like de la olla, it's the, oh, yeah. the, the bowl thing? Mm. 
Do Cubans got that? Or no? Yeah, we do. But frijoles negro. Like. I feel like most other Latinos have different beans that yeah. are just because, like, for example, like Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, like they always want to make other beans with like more stuff in it. Like Mexicans do like bean, salt, you know, unless you do frijoles rancheros. But like they do like that shit got mad shit in it. It got vegetables and all kinds of shit. I'm like, what's going on? Accessorized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Accessorized. Fancy. Fancy beans. <laughs> I'm all for that, though. And you guys do black beans. Black yeah, beans are black beans. Black beans are good. I love black beans. What's I wonder Cuban if there was like sandwich. a blind. If what is a Cuban sandwich? Yeah, what's in it? What's special? What's what's Cuban about it? It's a bunch of meat. It's like oh. pork and ham, which is the same thing, but they're di- they're different. I don't know how to explain that. Then what about the Cuban oh. coffee? Um, the little tiny little thing. Oh yeah, like a cafecito, like a colada. Yeah, that should be crazy. That shit will have you cracked out. Crack the fuck out immediately. Immediately, yep. if I ever want to like feel cracked out. For whatever reason, like I need, I need a little jolt or I need a little whatever. Can I find that out here? Um, I need that every morning. I could find, I could find it for you. You need some cafe bustelo. I need to go. Oh, I got the bustelo is the yellow one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that's all that is? Yeah. And sugar. What? It's I feel like I've had cafe bustelo, but it wasn't that that's cracked strong? out. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, it's like I'm, somebody had to make it special. I think it's yeah, maybe that. Hmm. You have to have the little um that's it. I don't know what the fuck it's called. The little silver tacita thing that you make the, mm-hmm. the coffee. I need to do that before I go into the studio. Do you like to be like up for the studio or do you like to be relaxed for the studio? Well, I'm a stoner, therefore. Oh, are you now? I'm, are you in 2023? You're right. I can't even claim that right now. Really? I got a couple joints up there and I'm not even a stoner, so my fuck around. And Pina part two, I don't get too no, high. No, because then you'll get sleepy on my ass and disassociated. I get disassociated? You got so disassociated, Snow. <laughs> I was shocked. I was fucking she shocked. She was literally like. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you were done, because remember, they thought you, they thought you were so mad at them. Dis- Your I'm, friend thought you were mad at them. I know. I feel so bad. I, know, I think, you know what? So That's what I got in my head about was that I knew that I was freezing up and I felt like everyone was going to feel like I'm mad, but I'm not mad, but I'm too high to explain. So yeah. now I'm just like. <sighs> and I froze and that's what I end up doing I didn't know this until my therapist told me that apparently I'm a freezer oh the, is that your trauma response when I'm uncomfortable I, I just Damn. like freeze yeah that sucks like like whenever I've had like like a like a guy friend get a little too like t- like I just freeze I'm just like oh my god please stop this is weird and f- like, I hate that you know yeah, it's fucking weird oh, you're like a goat <laughs> <laughs> you're like a goat or something oh my those, God, those, that's so fucked up the little, the little dwarf goats that freeze they freeze yeah you never seen them are you arguing with her are you yelling at her <laughs> no it's just it's your just... eyebrows got kind of <laughs> you're like you never seen them no yeah, goats. I don't think I've ever noticed a goat freeze oh, you wait, didn't fainting. see the baby goat <gasps> there's baby goats there's baby goats right now three Bitch, I swear to God you didn't see they were freaking we were surprised. We didn't even know she was pregnant. This bitch popped out three babies. Who the fuck is the All father? Three. The, the father? Brother. The brother. No. What in the novelas going on? <laughs> <laughs> the goats have a whole other kind of life. They got them. We They're got so them castrated. They are so scandalous. We got them castrated because we were like, you cannot. You cannot be impregnating your sister. Fucking wild. That's ridiculous. And then they told us because their animals will be animals. So then they were like, they were like, one time it's like okay that was a mistake they're animals whatever they're like now if it was to happen more then that's irresponsible but like one time you didn't know you know blah blah we're stupid i don't know first of all the goats were a gift to me so i wasn't even prepared for that first of all who the fuck gives people goats that was a lot of responsibility you got a a whole ranch so i feel like they thought it was appropriate dude me chasing down the dogs today when they got oh my god i had oh yeah guys snow was so sad they're alive that's why i was crying yeah, the, chicken, the chickens are alive. Let's do the disclaimer first. But they the, almost died again. The chickens are alive. They're safe. Honestly, it was not my fault. Like, somebody left the door open. And also, I feel like Lisa walked up and she was all like, oh, I saw the chickens out. So literally, naturally, she's like, and then I put them back in. So I was like, naturally, she put them back in and she closed the door. I didn't realize she put them back in but left the door open. So then they got out. Then somebody leaves the door open. And then they fucking... And then the person that left the door open... The other day I was leaving and I closed the door behind me and they're like, wow, we closed the door in my face. And I was like, no, it's because I'm so used to closing the door because the dogs, I don't want the. So then this time I like let the door open and bam, two dogs ran out. And I was like, fuck. So I'm screaming. And I'm like, no, Benji, no, Brinks, no, Bash. And I'm like screaming and doing all that. And I'm grabbing at them and everything. I fell, almost broke my ankle, almost broke my face. God I damn. ripped my Prada bag, got fucking mud all over it. Like I was just all like Why was the stressed out. It was, I was leaving. Oh. I had shades on. I was leaving. I had my bag. I'm leaving out. And whatever and then i start and chasing the away. dogs 
And I seen one with his, it in his mouth and I like grabbed him by his fucking collar and it was just fucking dramatic. Thank God. All of them are alive. The dogs are safe. Everyone's safe. But I cried right after oh and I kicked gosh. the shed because I was so frustrated and stressed. And then my neighbor goes, I'm hearing a lot of stuff going on at your house. Are you okay? <laughs> are you chickens. being murdered? I was I like, hear the chicken chickens. noises and he goes, well, crying. Hope, he was like, hopefully none of your chickens turned into El Pollo Loco. I was like, thanks. Goodness. Well, I mean, at least if they did, you can eat them, you know, like you can... That's what I told her. I said, had one of these chickens got eight, I would have made you cook me this chicken. Who? Which she cooked me chicken. The person who didn't close the the chicken Accident. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Keep it on the low. (laughs) No, it's not low. Last time I was drunk and I was acting like an idiot on my fucking podcast. Dang. This happens when you're unprofessional. Anyway. We love it. We love it. We free. We. This is my conversation with the universe. And if my conversation with the universe right now is I am a mess, the universe understands because it made me. Well, also, if that's what you're telling the universe, that's what you're going to be. No, I got way better after that. Shit. Look at me making grown up decisions. I made a few grown up decisions. What kind lately. of grown up decisions Mature. are you making? Like, hey, baby, I'm not ready for this right now. So like, I need you to go be free and into the world. You let someone go? I've been out here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, a lot of people. I've been like, look, I've been, I need to work on myself and be a better version of myself for myself and for my son and for my family and for y'all before I could ever even think of doing anything stupid. So do, do you equivalent being in a relationship with doing something stupid? Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm just like kidding. The, I'm being stupid. I feel, stupid. I feel I'm like if you stupid. do your thing and like you actually level up like that, you're going to get into a place where a relationship isn't even going to feel like something stupid. It'll feel like something no. fun. Yeah, it's not stupid. I, I actually am a relationship person. I love being in a relationship. I'm being Cancers. silly right now. I'm being silly right now, but honestly, I've met great what? people. But the last thing I would want to do is be to somebody what I have gone through with people and yeah. sometimes unfortunately we end up projecting Toxica. yeah we end up pre- <laughs> like being that person to somebody else and then be like oh my god i can't believe this happened and it's like well duh bitch because you're not even fully like at zero i gotta be at like zero <clears throat> before you know but i that's feel you it. i feel you i respect that you know we yeah, try we try i'm proud of you i know from when you first met me to where i'm at now i think you know and we haven't had a, a heart talk to in heart a while in a second, yeah. but you know i do I think it's, I do, and you I'm, really, I'm really fucking proud of you, dude. Thank you. Yeah. When I'm at zero now, when I'm sitting and I'm not thinking about anything, I'm not thinking about anything. Mm. As opposed to when you're at zero and not thinking about anything or talking and you're, like, sad. Mm-hmm. Right now I'm at, like... You, you finally feel like you processed and, like, got it out of your system. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'd be thinking about, like, laundry and, like, cleaning and, like... For example, I started painting here and it kind of started out as, like, hmm, we should clean. And then it became, we should paint. And then it became, let's go get this and let's do this and let's rebrand this. And, you yeah. know, it just becomes like yeah. inspiring and like motivational yeah. to like just do better shit. I feel that when I'm not smoking too, like I have, I'm like, wow, what do I do with my day? Like oh, I have dude, so much I time and energy. <laughs> like what the fuck am I doing? I feel that. I'm organizing shit. You I'm just like, came back to Cali, right? Like, yeah. I get back. I came, got back on the 8th. Are you working on new music? I am. Do you want to put me on a song? Oh. Not to put you on blast, but. On this project? No, no, it doesn't just ever. Absolutely, bitch. What? Just on some we can random. absolutely make some music. Yeah. Like Santa Fe was here, and then we fucking like started working on one song, and then we ended up working on like mad songs. And I felt really good. I think that helped me process because I got to put some stuff out that like maybe I didn't even realize. Because I'm not a very, like if you listen to my music, I'm not very like, I don't talk about very vulnerable stuff. And I think being able to put that I vulnerable stuff out. I, I, think don't think, I, think, I think you have such a such a clear way of, expressing yourself you know what i mean and like vulnerable is just what you're feeling and going through you know what i'm saying so like sometimes it's harder than soft but like you still have vulner the vulnerability is very much in your lyrics like where the authenticity of how you are does that make sense i feel that but i just feel like i've never really expressed you mean more like the like the the sadder parts or like the more like intimate parts i think i think it's easier for me to be sad than it is for me to feel uh, I don't even know what the fuck the word is like like when I feel dumb you know what I mean like I feel like sometimes it's okay for me to make songs once ap- like once I'm already out of those feelings but I think like sometimes whenever I feel like a sucker like I, I don't know how to put those into actual feelings and words other than like I'm mad about it like mm. I'm cool I'm doing better now but it's like I don't know how to be like yo dead ass like I felt dumb like mm. I feel played like how do I express that shit you know what I mean you want to write a song about it 
I would like to be able to put that. I don't know. I feel like that's creatively something that I've never been able to like get over of like, ugh, like my pride just doesn't. Yeah, like me... you don't want to look like a loser. <laughs> I get it. I respect that. Not a shot. <laughs> But I get it. But also that shit is so <clears throat> fucking real. Like feeling that way and like going through shit that makes you feel like, damn, I really just got fucking played. Like that's really what just happened to me. Yeah. Even if in the long run you end up realizing like, no, like that was for a reason. Like, Everything the, is. You know, yeah. every, there was a plan, whatever. But you like in that moment you feel yeah. stupid. You're like, damn, bro. Like what the fuck? I feel that. I really feel that. I've definitely, um, I have no problem tapping into that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I, feel I like, write a lot of songs about that. I feel like you're very talented in 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 that in like I mean in many ways, but like in being able to tap into that, and that's why like that's mostly why I wanted to like get in the studio because I feel like I've gone in the studio with you and shown you what I already made, yeah. but I've never been able to like from scratch be like, yo, what are how we do I tackle about? this? What do we feel? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm super down, dude. I'm very be down. crazy. I love creating and especially with like talented bitches. So. And with you, I remember I showed you like the like some of the songs before they ever came out, mm -hmm. and you were like, you "Put that out." Yeah, you sent me uh, the one that you were like kind of singing, and you were like, "I feel stupid, like well, I don't want to put out some shit that I'm like singing on." I was like, "Bitch, mm -hmm. you sound amazing. Like uh -huh. this is a fucking good song. Mm -hmm. Do it." I showed her uh huh a long time uh -huh, ago, and yeah. I was very like, "Is it not finished?" Because I, I, yeah, because you, you, you thought that the chorus was too simple, but sometimes that is the case, you know. Like you, you're a rapera, so you like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. giving people a lot of words and a lot of wordplay and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes a chill like hook that just keeps you moving and is just like easy for somebody to pick up on is a vibe. Yeah, you know, just you to add into your repertoire of shit that you already have, you know. You were fucking with the them bullshit and shit. She liked that hype shit too, though. She's I like, you put this shit out. Bitch. I do. I love them. But I just love your wordplay. Like, I think you're fucking brilliant. Thank you. You were. You gave me a confidence boost when you were like, um, "Your pen is crazy." I was like, "Yo, that's Lauren telling me my pen is crazy." Crazy. I the one that I, I was listening to it again today. Though that's what I do. And that's how I was done. That's like, oh that's yeah, how I, was, I love that fucking song. Really? Yes, hey, I love that's that fucking, fucking song. Lit. I'm going back to that vibe, like. You know, we've talked about this before about being independent artists and like kind of, you know how the industry can be and how what 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 people expect you to want. Whereas when you're a real human being and you like put out music, or whatever, and you like really have that relationship with your fans. It's like it's nice for me, at least I feel my happiest when I'm constantly putting out music and it's a relationship with me and my fans, mm -hmm. not expectations, not distributors not labels not nothing not all this other shit that fucks it up just me and them mm -hmm. and we know what the fuck we got going up that's my favorite yeah. so i want this year and i already told everybody i got everybody on a phone call individually and was like yo this year i'm taking the reins this year i really want it to be about i'm not getting in that slump that i was in last year and mind you a lot of people thought that it was very much like only like relationship shit or personal mm -hmm. but i think for me it was also just like i gave people a chance in to come into my career that didn't do what they said they were going to do. And I think that made me depressed because I was like, bro, Classic. like, if you got played again, kind of vibe. <sighs> Facts. That's, well, that's what you got to channel into the song that you're talking about. Yeah. So if I could do anything like yeah. this year. It is disappointing. It's always disappointing. Like when you involve business people, to be honest, like, th like people will see the value of you because of what you've built. Yeah. And, and, or what you have, like, as far as like your connection with your fans or whatever it is. And they'll see like a, a, a dollar sign value attached to it. And they're like, okay, how can I, exploit this situation so that i can also make money off of this exactly and that kind of intention that's why it's so it's so important to just like be clear about what people give you energetically when you meet them you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like just understanding that and ca staying connected to what you're talking about like the the intention and the purpose being what it is for you of like i'm just i want to share my fucking truth through my music and I want to give this to the people who want to listen to me, who fuck with me and who like understand my story and want to know more of my story yeah. versus like tailoring your artistic vision for like the people who who's, who already have a predisposition about like what is going to work, quote mm. unquote. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like nobody knows what the fuck is going to work. And yeah. if you put money behind something, it's going to work every time. It just needs money. So yeah. like literally just like as long as you're throwing money at it, it's going to do something. So yeah. yeah, fuck people. Yeah, no, straight up, and it and it is I'm very disappointing. No, it is very disappointing <laughs> when, for example, we give art, right? So you're giving your art, your 
piece of your soul. Your fans love you, so you have this relationship going on with them. So everything, I'm guaranteeing I'm going to give music. If you tell me, hey, I need 10 songs from you, you know, and we're going to do this. All right, cool. I'm giving you 10 songs. I'm guaranteeing you that. The yeah, problem you're doing is your part. You're not guaranteeing me anything else. You're <laughs> guaranteeing me you're going to take the songs. And you're guaranteeing me you're going to put them out. And you're, you're going to give not, me a little advance or whatever. Yeah, but you're not going to. And that's what I keep having the convo is I don't need your advance. I don't no. want you. Because that's a loan with a high interest. I got a good credit, baby. Like, I could take, I could get a better loan myself. I could go to the bank. And I can get a loan and I can do whatever the fuck I want or I can dip into my own account and do whatever the fuck I want. So I don't need your advance. What I need is for people to only enter my career or my life if they actually give a fuck about the long term and want to do this shit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I agree. Only sharks. Only sharks on the team. Like only people who are going to fucking ride for you and really like. That's why I love my manager so much. Like I genuinely do. Like she. She's fun. She's fun as fuck. But also she's a fucking ride or die. Like she trusts me. She trusts my vision and she trusts and she's just brilliant and strategic and like understands like how to move. And granted, we haven't been able to like do what we're gonna do because of all of the little logistics of like people involved, right? Mm-hmm. But but the plan is present, you know? Like this whole year we got we know what we're gonna do, we know how we're gonna be moving, and she's like she's so ready to ride no matter what. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cause she believes in me as a person and as mm-hmm. an artist and as a human being. Like she fucks with me as a human being. And that's that shit is different. I've just never experienced that. So it's 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 life changing when you're yeah. surrounded by people who see you mm-hmm. and who see your potential and who see like where you're gonna go and and nothing's gonna stop it. Like no amount of like people telling you some fuck shit or like, oh, this isn't gonna work because unless you do this, this and this, it's not gonna work. Da, 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 whatever. Like, no, like it's yeah. your vision and I wanna see your vision through because I trust your vision. And here, here's my two cents about how we can make this we can even expand this vision. Because mm-hmm. when someone actually fucks with you, it's a lot easier to also listen to that advice of how you can grow, you mm-hmm. know? Because it's different when someone's telling you shit because you think that their intention is to like grow you to a point of making more off of you, you know? Mm-hmm. Versus like I see your potential and I see the places that you're blinded because you don't you're not seeing it because you're so committed to your vision, you know? Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna give you these two cents and I'm gonna tell you like here and here, you got blind spots. And yeah. it, it makes it a lot easier to accept that. Cause I feel like also as like women who are also independent who have been in this shit, like people tell you their opinion all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's valid. And in retrospect, you're like, oh shit, I should have listened to that, but I didn't because this person's intention was so whack. Yeah. But you know, when someone's intention is aligned with like, I fuck with you and I love you and I, and I understand what you want, but here, look, this, this, and this might help you get to where you want to go even faster or even better, you know? Yeah. That, that I think is invaluable too as I've grown and I've been able to grow as an artist is understanding sometimes the criticism isn't just criticism. It's yeah. like, hey, you can grow yeah. in these kinds of ways. And I've learned to like get more comfortable with that. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And also, and also understanding that the blueprint sometimes for women like us, like it doesn't really necessarily exist. It like really doesn't. you're not, you know, if you get involved with somebody and all they want to do is like tell you, well, well, look at how that's happening or look at this or whatever. And you're like, bro, comparison. you don't understand, especially for example, with any queer identity or like with fucking, you know, Latinos that are like different things that you might be that are very much part of like who you are. Mm-hmm. Like for example, for me being Mexican American, but also, you know, I'm queer, but like, I'm not just Mexican. I'm not just like American. Like I'm Mexican. American so it's very specific how I need to say certain things or what I need to do so being like looking at a Puerto Rican and be like do it like that you're like bro that but we don't even talk the same like we need to yeah. you know everybody needs to be re- re- representing yeah. their own shit you know yeah and- I also I remember when I was in like you know a bigger label whatever and they <laughs> They were just like, oh, you're Latina. You should go and work with these people and, like, make some Latina songs. <laughs> I was like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, first of all, you're all white. Let's start there. Like, straight up. And then I write these songs, whatever. I go and I do these songs. And then they're like, this is the single. This is the one. This is the one that's going to take you where you got to go. Lento. 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 <laughs> I was like, okay, bitch, but I just dropped, like, R&B music. Like, what? D- d- did, yeah. it's not gonna make sense to people and granted am I gonna tap into my culture and I'm gonna tap into like the sounds that I grew up with and like the culture that I grew up with of course naturally as an artist I, I'm gonna tap into me yeah. you know and it's a part of me but like at the same time when it's constructed like that or presented to you that way it's like bro I'm not gonna try to sell people some shit that I, I'm I'm Latina Americana like I'm 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 Cuban American I was born in Miami I was raised in my culture 
surrounded by Cuban people like my whole life, you know? So it's it's a p- intricate part of who I am, but it's not something that I want to commodify like that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. not trying to You're be like... the token fucking, you know what I mean? Absolutely not. And there's yeah. so many different types of faces that Latinas have, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm white. Like, <laughs> I'm white Latina, you know? It, it is what it is, but it's like... You, I have to be mindful and respectful always, you know? I don't, yeah. I don't ever want to be like, I'm the face of this. Like, I'm not. I, it is who I am, and I, I'm a part of the culture, but yeah. it's not. I'm not the face of nothing, and I'm not going to, like, take, fr- take space in places where I'm not supposed to be taking space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that, res- that respect for that, like, for example, you being able to say that or do that is, like, that needs to be given. You know what I mean? People need to be as loud about b- understanding that mostly because it'll be more teaching than just always shitting on people who who do it, right? Because mm-hmm. it's like a lot of people be like, oh, I can't believe this person took up that space or that person. Okay, well, do you ever understand whenever people are actually themselves making those decisions to stay out those fucking places? Do we ever high five those fucking people that are making the right decisions even if it's fucking you know costing uh, them money. costing them fucking pe- places in their yeah, career I like, turned down some shit for sure because i was like nah bro like you guys need way more representation and i'm just gonna add another like white face to this and i'm just not gonna do that exactly and that and that's why i get <clears throat> sometimes mad whenever people are so always you know the people that just shit on people for doing something it's like bro yeah but at the same time sometimes you have people doing the right shit and y'all motherfuckers don't give that credit mm-hmm. you know cardi has said that well, or like different really female like, rappers i don't see it though because it's behind yeah. the scenes you know yeah like female rappers will literally say like you don't like us rapping about pussy or whatever but like you don't you don't hype up the female rappers that aren't doing that like That's y'all are the ones that don't give a fuck so don't get mad at a, i don't get mad a lot of times people want to be like oh you're better than so so no they're rapping about what they're rapping about and that good shit go ahead if you want that to change then you support who you like but stop always shitting on people that are doing what they let everybody do what they want and you go where you want the problem is y'all motherfuckers like that shit. Y'all like to comment. Guess who you're going to talk about more? You're going to talk about whatever's like more dramatic or drastic because even if you're hating, you're still giving it engagement. You're going to go spend that dollar on that artist that you supposedly said is a real person or a real rapper? You going to their concert? You listening to their music? You buying their merch or you bootlegging their merch? Shit. What you doing? What are you doing? That's the problem. The consumer dollar is everything at the end of the day. And that's what really speaks volumes. You commenting a million times that you hate somebody, that ain't going to do as much as actually supporting the person you fuck with. Mm-hmm. And that's how it be. Yeah. Talking shit really doesn't do nothing except give more attention to what you're saying you don't want attention on. You're yeah. giving it attention. Yeah. <laughs> are there collabs you regret i don't regret any any collabs anything like that like no i love every collab I've and especially so is especially like i would say you know with with like lauren and not just because you're here but like honestly like i feel like us developing it was iconic i feel like it took us so long of like actually just vibing and because friends, yeah. we became friends you know mm-hmm. what i mean and that's why when y'all say certain shit it's like bro i value so much having a friend that's a peer and that we can actually talk about the life more than or even give me advice because she's been through some things that i haven't like being on a major and doing these big fucking things like i ain't never fucking seen that so i'm like how does that feel like tell me the the, you know what i mean like tell me where i'm gonna burn my hand that way i don't touch it as opposed to people who i was telling y'all that like you know there's people who like they're giving you advice because they burned their hand and you motherfuckers want to be like no let me see let me see if it's hot it's like no like i want to hear the shit that she likes the shit she don't like teach me and i will take that and vice versa because i like you can teach me so much about being independent and like hustling like that i i I still gotta pick your brain a bit i told you you, it's a different it definitely definitely is a different (coughs) thing but we could help each other so much as friends because of this music shit is just it there's a lot of uncharted territory bro we are artist shit at the end of the day and i feel like artists are so connected to their humanity and like what we are is channels for the (laughs) human experience you know like we're out here channeling (laughs) okay yeah we're saying support who you love (laughs) <laughs> yeah, some people are saying. What? You know. What? We... Espan- in oh, okay. Quieren que hablamos en español. Oh, ¿Qué hold on now. I might need to take a shot. She's starting about to start speaking Cuban. Maybe Cuban. Could... They call me Cuban beat. I'm the king could... of the rumba beat. <laughs> when I play the maracas, I go chiki chiki Maybe boom. you could answer that yeah. question. Yo, we hit 4K, Spanish? bro. We need to take a shot for 4K. Remember when we used to take a shot for 4K? Yeah. 4K, 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 4K. Oh, 4,000 people. Oh, hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. But some people want us to speak Spanish. Some people are saying we preach, and which we are, because we need to let y'all know, strong, independent women, like, we really out here doing this shit, no matter how many of these fucking men try to tell us, you need me. 
you need us for you to do this no we didn't need anybody do you remember when they tried to put a whole man on the song sorry is that bad <sighs> no bring say that shit talk that shit no talk that shit yeah know that. they tried Who? to put a Me? whole man on the song and i was like what snow literally called me and was like i don't know what the fuck they think this is going on but i'm about to chew their heads off about it and, and they tried and to put Dave. a girl that was not really gay but would do it for the clout and it's like that's not what that's doing. not what we're doing we're either not. that's not what this is about this that is whole gay for the clout shit is fucking fucked is so tired it's tired. so tired i get it though like, but you know what you know what it is like gay for the clout quote unquote but that bitch is a little homoerotic she got a little fantasy she got a little she want to figure it out that's a lot I mean, of yeah, people don't that are straight, real gay girls feelings or i, I low-key have that kind of thing though like i love i love making straight girls question who they are <laughs> it's fucked I mean, up yeah but you, well, are you okay it's kind we're of both cancers and i play but like are you long, emotional or no i play a long game with it no about that about them no okay about a straight girl no but that's what well, women in general you're not women of course if i'm if i'm in love with a woman of course i'm very i'm a cancer but i'm very emotional but if i'm just like trying to see or make you or trying like <laughs> how do i explain this yeah, let's talk I'm about just it. trying to see if like Cheers, by the way. you really as straight as you think are you, you drinking, are. Are you drinking the titty or is there anything you in it? Or you from the no, titty? I'm saying are you is there anything in there? there? You want proof? You guys want proof? I mean, mm. mine, mine's up to the waist. Okay, but remember, I have a nipple that leaks. I can't fill it up to the top. Okay, because it'll be like chorreando. Okay, hold it uh -huh. like a carb and Asi? then pour it and then drink it out all the right, titty. All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Drink it out the nipple, you mean? Because I'm, yeah. I'm already drinking. We talking about homoerotic. We might as well talk we about this shit. We might as well. Let's get to it. People was asking me about a lot of different things before you got here. I was <laughs> trying to buy time, and then it got very personal. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, not gonna play anything. Not, not that really. <laughs> <laughs> that's a song. You <laughs> this choice. Is that well, James Bond? What the fuck is no, that? No, that's from The Mask when um, Cameron Diaz walks in to the bank with a red dress. I mean, shit. She's wet. Nah. Remember Rain? Sorry. What a beautiful scene. Yes. I remember that Play scene. That, that red bro, dress. That bitch was Oof. fine. I was fine like, I didn't even know that was her. Years later when Oof. I saw Cameron Diaz in a movie, I didn't realize that was her. So when I went yeah. back, I was like, God damn, her in her prime was... You know, Charlie's Angels <laughs> was my sexual awakening. Like the movie with Drew Barrymore and Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu was my sexual awakening. Okay. When she did her, um, she did like a massage on some old gross guy. I know this is, it's not him that turned me, it was her. And like the way that she was like commanding the scene and like, it was just so sexy. I was like, oh, I like that. And I went to my room and I got a teddy bear and I put it out and I oh. pretended I was her. <laughs> You massage your teddy bear? I was like six years old, like walking on my teddy bear, like, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh. And my mom you ever walked heard in that, and was like, that, what the fuck you are know, you doing? You know that that Elvis uh, teddy bear song is my favorite, actually. <laughs> what Elvis teddy bear song? I just want to be your... <laughs> Play the song, oh, goddamn. Are you hitting on me? No, I'm, it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm just... Oh, well. I mean, unless you, I mean, the tequila is flowing. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Look, that'd be me, bro. When I see a finance bitch, I'd be like, God damn. Ooh. Damn. Absolutely. That was her legs. Oh, was it before? She was so hot in this movie. Then she zoomed out. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Was when she yeah that there part. There we go. Sheesh! It was that part right there. Sheesh. That's us right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're them. We're like this. Gorgeous. <laughs> She's so fine. Did you see the new, um, okay, so I had a, I had a weird situation happen to me earlier this week. Okay. What happened? Did you see the new Avatar movie? I did. Okay. So I had a weird feeling about one of the Avatar. No, I feel you. I know exactly which one you're talking about. <laughs> From the water world? Yes. Yo. The <laughs> but teenager, I was like, but wait, is she young? Excuse exactly. me. The, the, That's what I'm saying. I'm like, so I feel age? weird because she's young, but also I'm like, this no, is an Avatar. No, like, what the fuck are we really not, talking about? She's not young, though. No, she's right? Grown. She gotta be like. 
right? She's a full grown avatar. We gotta be. It's gotta be grown. She gotta. She's be fine grown. as fuck. She's <laughs> fine as fuck. And you know what's crazy? Why are they making these avatars so attractive? The more, the more that I fucking, she kept being on screen. The more I just kind of like, like moved around. And the person that I was with was looking at me. And was like, I know what you, what is happening. You and I was like, m- moved around. Like, like I was just kind of like uncomfortable because I was like, what are these feelings? Like this is. I'm pretty sure that's not that it's a younger avatar, but she's fine as fuck. And then they pulled her up. She was in the water, and then the, like they, you see her waist. And is I was like, illegal? oh my it's god. An avatar? Oh, no. But it's an avatar, bro. I will show up to fucking Comic Con. I don't give a fuck. Is she I going? Wanna, we gotta dress like her. No, I want to see a bitch see, that look like th- her. This is my this is my dilemma, right? As a somebody said, FBI. <laughs> this is this is literally literally my dilemma. Is like I see a hot girl, and I'm like, do I want to be you or do I want to fuck you? Both. And it's always both. Yeah. It's always both. It's always both. Yeah. Mm, no. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, cause I like femmes, obviously. So it's like I, I don't want to. Be, that looks uncomfortable. I don't want to dress like that all I the time. I like all like, kinds of. I like popping out. Gaze. Like, like I like. You can be a femme. You can be a butch. I don't give a fuck. If you're hot, you're hot. Wait, which one were you talking? about? I have something in my eye. This one. Ew. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> no, not that Lito. one. She was so annoying. Is that your type? No, no, no. Well, no. It's got to list took as a child. No. This this list doesn't have everybody. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold Type on. in not fine spider, as spider. go up. Fine as hold on, avatar. Hold on. Ne- ne- tiri- no, I like her too though. Go up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nah, there's, there's no more. Bro. Okay, okay. No. Well, is it the light? No, blue water ones? people. The yeah. light. Yeah, the water people. <laughs> the the light skin. Water people. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> they are. They're teal, not right, blue. Let me look. I'm dead. Not the light skins. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that bitch I'm was sorry. fine. I don't give a fuck. I posted her on my Instagram. I was like, yo. You guys all make fun of me for having a type, which, by the She's way, the chief's daughter. I got a lot of shit uh, for having a chiefs. type. Meanwhile, they already knew what my type is. is you, got you got a type. I don't have a type. If you look at my repertoire, baby, I don't have a type. I really don't. I I genuinely like I see beauty I really in so much. Like I, it's very rare for me, especially women. Like it's very rare for me to not think a girl's beautiful. Like I I, I like all kinds of people, like all colors, all shapes all everything like i love it <laughs> i don't know somebody said behave yourself why is there cops se pasan oh because of the girl I she's fine i like uh, do i only do i don't even know now? what the fuck no i like uh, you know what she like who she like i like what when i like she like what she like but currently i'm into a woman yes See? a femme a non-binary you said femme femme Hmm. They're not, I mean, they're not femme like what you're talking about. Femme. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I say femme is like the medium ground of like, they don't fully identify as a woman, but like, you know, they're feminine in nature. Mm-hmm. They're non binary. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I don't know. Okay. This might be a lesson in gay. Right I don't now. know. Maybe I'm fucked up. Maybe I'm saying the wrong thing. I'm sorry if I am. I no, yeah, no. It's just no. If anything, I'm not. I'm not even the person that would ever. I, I'm not the pro gay. Like, See, I like don't, you consider I yourself know. what? You consider yourself a stud? No, no. no I'm right? STEM. Your STEM is fucked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm STEM, and I'm. I'm very and I'm switch for anybody that was asking out there. I'm but, fem. Um, as well. Yeah, you fem. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So if you I'm say fem, if you were to be like, yo, I'm hooking you up with some fem, right? And I love. Like, I love I feminine expect, girls too. Though. Is like so. That's why when you said that, I was just like, "Oh, okay." But I understand what you mean. This by This person I'm talking about is STEM. Is the yeah, same exactly like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm st- yeah. I'm STEM. Or- yes, yes. Uh, that's that's her. the bitch. <laughs> Metkayina. Metkayina. Didn't even catch her name, but I was obsessed uh, with her. Yeah, Metkayina. So. Um, that's her. Please don't tell me her age. No, we uh, don't want to know her age. Actually, I do, just so I can know. Okay, tell her. Uh, Fine, tell us. Fuck. God damn. Not wait. 13. She's not 13. Okay, okay. <laughs> she's not 13. <laughs> she's not 13. <laughs> we both got No, bro. She's him. she's grown. She's like late teens, Is early it? 20s. Has to be. It's appropriate. It has to be appropriate. The, at least the actor is. You know? The actor was not giving teenager. Yeah. The actor, the actor looked kind of young. 19, I think. 19? That's yeah. not. That, that, that's like. Oh, I mean, yeah. You, you younger. Yeah. So, I'm 26. That's, that's for you. You good. I look. Little, <laughs> good. she's nineteen. The actress no. is nineteen. No, the actress. No is FBI 19. involved. Listen, you said you like submissive Latin guys. Okay, good for you. Uh uh-uh. I don't like. I don't know. When I like men, I like. I like men. 
And it's very rare that I like a man. Though. I'm not going to get in this conversation. It's right like now, so rare that I like a man. Very, very fucking. Like, it's weird. But but I feel like if you're going to be with a dude, if you're with girls and you're going to be with a dude, you might as well be with a dude, dude. I have to be with a dude, dude. Yeah, you're not going to be with a dude that's like a little a girl. No, I want to be with a girl. If I want to be with a girl, I'm going to be with a girl. Yeah, that's how I feel. And maybe that's homophobic, and I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Like is that homophobic? no no right Why would that be? I like also I, I fuck with bisexual men too though like the way that they are so free I fuck with that I I fuck with people who are comfortable Comf- with who they are yeah you know comfortable and as long as you're confident and comfortable like you could be whoever the fuck you are I don't care like I, I I'm attracted to confidence I'm attracted to like people being themselves and expressing themselves honestly and openly and people who are respectful and cool and funny yeah I like funny people. How old is I'm that girl? Because I'm fucking hilarious, so. I don't know, I can't. You, I, what? I, I, oh, yeah. You know I'm funny. Yeah, you are funny. Oh. Funny. Well, somebody said the avatar's age is 16, but. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really find it. It's kind of hard to find, but. The actress is 19, <laughs> so that's all that matters. <laughs> that's not well, gonna work. that's crazy. And honestly. We're going with, we're going, we're going with the actress's age. And honestly, if we're being real, this is a fake make-believe world where in our mind, probably like. If I was thinking of why I would like her is because I would have been that dude, right? That's the outcast dude with the outcast whale thing. Mm-hmm. But didn't I'd be him. But didn't he like didn't she like the other guy? The brother? No, she liked him. I thought she was into the brother. She's she's into the outcast guy. That's why they ended up together. The brother died. I remember that. The old brother. The Sorry older brother guys, died. if you haven't seen the movie. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, we're out spoilers. here. I mean, shit, we're out here like doing, I mean, some weird was, things. So, <laughs> Sorry somebody's gonna have to die, right? Like every somebody movie. Yeah, it is a film. Yeah, it's dude. Like, when Angela Bassett died though in Black Panther, I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck are you killing off this queen? Like, why? Also, why? Better question. Why do we have Wakanda and Konya? What's the name of the other empire? The the Messi Empire. What's it called? Uh, you haven't seen that? Oh, the Mexican one? Yeah. Yeah. I was in the movie. Or like, well, my song was, was in the thing. Did y'all catch it? I just it hate, I hate, I hate that they were pinned against each other. Me too. I hate that shit. Bro. I hate that Nomar <clears throat> killed the mother. Like, I was like, bro, you're, no. Like, no. Bro, how do you, you think I to, fucking feel? You guys need to join forces and dis- destroy the colonizers. When I was fucking... When they invited me to write for the fucking movie, the song, my first question Talocan, was, that's what please it's tell me the Mexicans aren't the bad guys. And they were. And they said no, bro. They lied to me. Well, they to, said be fair, no. to be fair, to be fair, the Mexicans aren't the bad guys. They're not bad. They're good. And he's trying to protect his home. He's trying to protect his people. That's, what he, that's, his, that's his motive is, is to protect his people. However, I don't like the fact that for, I don't like the fact that Wakanda works so heavy with like the Americans and the English. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they're they're so they're so much more like committed to their relationships with the colonizers than even the prospect of helping Nomar. And that's why Nomar is like, all right, well fuck y'all then, because I have an M- army that's gonna wipe y'all out because you're the only actual threat to me. Because yeah. if these people come at me, I'm they're done. I feel. But that. like if you guys are gonna side with the colonizers, then I have to do what I gotta do. Yeah. And I understood that, but at the same time, the whole time I was like. You guys need to join forces. Right? <laughs> Which I think is the point. Like, I think that's the setup is like, it has to be the setup because otherwise I don't get it and I hate it. But, um, I didn't like that he said I that hate, little shady but, comment but like him, where it was like, he's killing, coming back. But also the, him killing the mother is like, at this point, like, how are they going to join forces? Because like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't forgive mom. nobody that killed my mother. No, that ass. And like, if that's where you wanted to go, that's where you went. Fuck you. You're my enemy. Period. You know, like, why would you do that? Yeah. So, but that that's why I hated that specific part, like that he, that they would do that to her. Because if that wouldn't have happened, I feel like it would have made sense for them to join forces. But now there's like some serious beef. Before it was like kind of beef is like, oh, we're kind of like competing with each other. But now it's like very serious beef. Like you don't kill mothers. <laughs> you know? Unless yeah. they're like really bad. Don't but it's very mother. rare that the you... The fact that all the comments are like, stop spoiling it, stop spoiling it. We're like, Sorry. we don't kill mothers. We don't. We don't kill moms. Like, <laughs> especially the good moms. Like, you don't do that shit. Somebody said, are y'all friends in real life? What the fuck? How the fuck else do you think we're going to... Do you <laughs> think this happened through managers? <laughs> no. <laughs> this happened through DMs. This is... Cool. Y'all we'll are acting. Get into that. Yeah, we got... Yeah, this happened through... <laughs> divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> 
divine intervention. No, but That's this. Yeah. The only if if all that was for this, then fuck it. Mm. It is what it is. It is what it is. Are you gonna answer this question up here? What? Drop some questions. That's something. Oh, what? Dang it! It disappeared. Oh, what was it? What was it? Do you remember? Horchata or Jamaica? Oh, somebody said so much. Horchata or Jamaica? Yeah, what do y'all like better? Horchata. Horchata with Henny is fucking fire. Yeah. Um, I like that. Bomb. See that I would drink. I would. You should have told me I'll bring you horchata de la lengua right now. <laughs> yeah, the rum Talk chata. To me I nice. gotta try that. I love what you want that? I, hold on, I got five people on Let's the call go. right now. Head up the assistant. I already started on the sake, though. I'm already feeling a little warm. Hey, all right, let me get a little sake taste. Hold on, you want oh, some? Shoot, they say it's really yummy. Hey, can we get mix some horchata? Horchata um, and some fucking tacos. <laughs> oh, I know she's getting j- j- Japanese, but I'm down for some tacos. Un horchata y dos de lengua. Bitch, did I tell you my fucking tour? Did I tell you what my tour is? Hey, man. Be? What's it called? And we make, oh, like, what's it the, called? The quince I never had. The quince I never had? Are you going to be dressed like... <gasps> no. Mentira. Stop. I love that. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but look. This is even better. Wait, Wait. I never had a quince either. <gasps> bitch, pull up. I know. I will. No, look at this. Can I wear a quince and you're not dressed yeah, too? Absolutely. Bitch, Fuck what? Yes. Let's fucking... Yes. Hold on. Look at this. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm show you. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so it's cute. So Who cute. animated that? That's so my friend, cute. My friend Cherish. Shout out Cherish. She's done I love she like that. she oh wait, no, she didn't do this one. But she does a lot of different stuff. So yeah, so it's like a whole fucking like Theme. the quince I never had. Like I'm gonna make this shit. If I'm gonna make this shit to the point where if I wanted to retire on the last day of this show, I could and I could be like my dream came true. But I'm not because <laughs> I actually already got booked to open for somebody else for the tour right like a month and a half later after Ooh. I'd go on tour. So I'm going Can on you tour tell? for a motherfucking Are you tell me later? I'll tell you. Okay. But actually in the end yeah. But it's fucking lit. I think this year that's what I mean. I'm so excited. I feel like life is like <gasps> I feel like it's been like I was like at a hard stop and then it became like rusty crusty and then, and the then it became like up. why you know what I'm telling you? You know what I'm telling you? What? You dropped all the extra weight that was yeah. holding you back. I mean, I'm still a little fat, but we drop in a little more. You're I'm just kidding. Zero percent chance fat. You have like an incredible body. Like, hey, stop playing. Hold on. Let me feel like a bad bitch. I'm about to feel like that bitch. What's in, what's a little six, 19 year old girl? That's the fat is here, baby. Hey, like, no, it's it in is. your hips it and is. your ass. Like, it is. Mm, there's no fat. Lie to you. I hate when yo. I hate whenever I'm trying to be a boy and then a bitch grab my ass and like makes it jiggle. Like I don't like that shit. But I, I mean, like, you have a nice ass. <sighs> it is what it is. You gotta stop. You gotta like. You've never gone to like. You've you dated women. Do you feel like girls feel like that? What? Like what? I do submit. What do you mean? That was the whole point. That's why people was laughing at me because they didn't know that I do be out here. Like if I do whatever you want, if I'm in love with you, what the fuck do you want me to do? Because I will do that for you. Period. Now. Immediately. Feel me? Absolutely. But it is different whenever you just dating. And I'm not doing that yet. So then it's like, I'm like, you gotta be up, baby. And girl. then Shorty's just like, come here. And I'm like, wait a minute. You're wearing a fucking dress and your ass is out. Why are you grabbing my whole ass right now? <laughs> like, that's a lot. That's a whole two handfuls of butt cheeks. But that's what being gay is all about. Is we is both it? get to grab each other's ass and be hot together. That's what I like. I like being super hot with another bitch. It's so fun to me. Like, I mean, like, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're both hot as fuck and you can't touch either one of us because <laughs> we touch each other, bitch. I like that. I when that I've been shit. on a date and then dudes won't leave us alone, I'll be like, that's my favorite. But I'm I like, like to hear the other girl say that touch shit. You can't touch this shit. I like Bam. to hear the other girl say that, especially like if she's like the more femme. Like if she says it, I think that's so hot. Like what? me saying it, I feel like I'm a, like a cock block. Well, Wait. maybe that's my so insecurity. What you mean? Kitty. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Like, if a dude won't leave us alone and we're, like, on a date, mm-hmm. I want to hear her say it. Like, I want, like you want to hear her be her. like, hey, stop. Like, this, we good. Like, leave. If, if like, I don't want to be the person that's, like, we good. Because then I just, you know, especially if I'm dressed more like a boy, like, I look like I'm, like, blocking or, like, I'm hating. I want you to say it. I want, I want to hear you say it. That's a flawed logic, in my opinion. Is it? No, yeah, fine. T- teach what? me. Shit, teach me. Because yeah, cause if you think about it, like, if a man is on a date with a girl, like, he's going to be the one to be <sighs> like, excuse me fuck off you know so yeah, but I'm not i don't funny. think it's like a gendered thing i don't but honestly i think as it's a, hot regardless if you're like excuse you i feel this is that not for you i feel that but like as a person who dates m- girls that dress very very feminine um i've gotten to where like dudes have almost beat me up to where like girls they won't like if a girl goes no thank you we're good they're gonna be like 
you know, they're going to respect that more. Whereas with me, they'll be like, oh, you think you a man? Like, and that's happened to me. That's several fucking times. whack. That's I'm happened sorry. to me several times. Like, I've gone through to, to a point where, like, bro, I've been shaking. Like, and, and mind you, like, I'm not the type to, like, I'm not going to punk out. But if there's ass. a six foot tall dude that's, like, Chirani. cussing me out and doing all kinds of shit and be like, yeah, that's why I fucking beat your fucking bitch, all this shit. And I'm like, bro, honestly, this could have all been prevented if she didn't, like, you know what I mean? If she could have been like, I'm good. But then it's like, I'm not going to block. So I'm like, now I'm like, bro, do, but what do, you do it or don't. Exactly. But it just, men's brains. Men's brains think like that. Daniel and the ones. Men's not brains. Not all of y'all. I'm sorry. Some, anyone who would approach women and once they say no once. The amount of times, though, that I've definitely gotten that shit of like, I remember I was dating this girl when I was like 18, 19, and we were at Coachella. And we, were, we had just like left Coachella. We were outside waiting for a car to pick us up. And this group of fucking, we were like holding hands and like whatever kissing. And this this group of guys walked by us and was like, one of them was like, oh, can I get in on that? Can I join that shit? And I literally, I lost my mind. I was like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I, started, I went off because I was so like fucked up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was fucked up and I was just like, excuse me, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I went off and he was like, bro, okay, <laughs> like relax. It's That's tight. I, I, like I was so I'd mad. Been I'd been like, I was yeah. mad. I, I don't fuck with that shit. Like, what? Like, you see us being intimate with each other and you're going to ask if you can join? Like, that's fucking disgusting. Bro, that's happened so long. I don't know how you feel so comfortable. Like, I really don't get it. The last time that I had to talk to a dude, I had to be so calm because I literally was like, I was like, I was scared of like it going bad, but I also wanted to make sure to like let it. So I was like, hey, I was like, you know, if you were to ever be on a date with a girl, he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so imagine if, like, somebody keeps on bothering you. And, like, so and I had to, like, to explain fuck. it, like, on some, like, I had to, like, mansplain it for him to fucking understand what the fuck was going on. But at the same time, I feel like we were no, entitled. When, when women explain, it's just explaining. Yeah, true. We're just explaining things. <laughs> That's it. We're oh. just explaining. I was mansplaining because his <laughs> dumb ass wouldn't understand it unless I was a fucking man. Yeah, but that's the, the opposite. When someone's mansplaining something to you, it means that they think you're stupid and don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But he actually was stupid and didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. So you were just explaining it to him. You feel me? I understand. If you were mansplaining, it's because he... I was elaborating. He already knows what you're talking about, but then you have to, like, extra explain it to him. That's mansplaining. Hmm. It's different. It's different It's mansplaining, which is also annoying. Everything that starts with man is fucking annoying to me. So what is man's... Ma mayonnaise. Oh, I love mayonnaise. That's true. <laughs> I like mayonnaise, too. I do love mayonnaise. And mannequins. Mannequins are nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nice, yeah. Sorry. And mantequilla. <laughs> mantequilla, delicious. I love mm. it. Things we like that start with man. <laughs> this Mayonnaise, thing. mantequilla, man... Mandela. Mandela. Mandela Nelson Mand Ma No, mm. Nelson Mandela. We love him. Um, man array. A man array. Love a man array. Mm. You said mannequins? I said mannequins. Yeah, Mantel. I was. that was a huge Mantel. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Tablecloths are great. <laughs> we need them. We need them at parties, but they're never Ma there. What else? What else? Um, Guys, give us drops. Manicures. Love Manicures. Those. Uh, Mangoes. Yes. Mangoes. Y'all got this shit. Not manipulate. No. We do not like that. Now we that attribute that man. Mansion. Mansions are we like mansions? I don't, you know, I don't like mansions. Somebody said menopause. That's I like mansions. Awesome. I like mansions to look at, but I could never live in one. Like I don't, Facts. I don't want to live in a huge house where like I don't know where the fuck anybody is Facts. at any point. Like the reason I bought the ranch was because the house is not cozy. even that big. The house, the house is, house is so cozy. cozy. There's like a lot of little. It's like take a mansion, spread it into little crumbs, mm. and then that's what you got. I yeah. like that. Yeah, but like, like one big building. I don't like that it's shit. Like diced mansion. A diced up mansion is nice. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. <laughs> you want a shot? Sure. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Do you want tequila or you want sake? Uh, Ooh, I'm I trying to try this sake. Sake to me like you want to. I could take it like a pro, you know. Huh? Hey, but tequila? look. Going back to what we talked about 45 minutes ago. Oh. Goats? <laughs> the the goats, goats freezing? Oh, well, my God. Yeah, because you know. <laughs> I had it he ready, said, and then y'all oh moved God. on. <laughs> And, Excuse uh, me. Mangonadas. You never seen this. Mango. Manzanas. Yeah. Me encantan. <laughs> Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin. Somebody said mojitos. Okay, guys, calm down. <laughs> M A N, guys. Manners. 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 Mantras. You guys are good. Manners, man. They mantras. got that shit. Yeah. They've been sending really manzanilla good Manzanilla tea. Me encanta. I, like I love manzanilla. All right, what? Show she us the goat. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. Painting goats. Go. 
Así. They literally just fall over. But why? When they're scared. I don't know. I guess it's they like, freeze. I guess it's like a genetic thing. What a shitty... Because oh, fight or flight doesn't no. exist when you're a freezer. That's me. He's, New even, he's mad at himself. He's like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Why? That'd be me when I go through an uncomfortable situation. I just freeze. And then I get up later and I'm like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> Yo, I fucking love goats. I love them so much. You got to go see the baby goats before I, you leave. I will cry. After, can I They're hold, so can small. I yeah, it? of course. Oh, dressed up goats. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're dressed up. I would hate that, man. I, I know those goats are pissed as fuck that they, they lose control of their extremities like that. You can tell. You can tell on the face. They're like, oh, fuck, damn. Mm. Like, God damn it. Like, I don't, I don't get how that makes sense. What for, be like, embarrassing. Uh, if you were on a date, <laughs> if you're on a date and you become a fucking frozen goat, that like, sucks. Like, how does that make sense for surviving so many years? Yeah, like, I mean, it really, I don't think they've survived like that, though. They've been pretty domesticated. Yeah, that's true. Like, in the wild, I don't think a goat can make it. A mountain goat? Yeah. I feel like, can, do mountain goats do the same thing? No, this is a specific kind of that's goat. That's a specific goat, right? Because ours don't do that. Oh, okay. Ours. It's a specific. So what was that? What kind of goat? Is I, it? I think the dwarf ones do this, but maybe some other kind. We gotta research. Yeah, I gotta look it up. Hold on. Yeah, cause I know a mountain goat can't be on that shit. Like you can't be like climbing a mountain and then all of a sudden you get scared and like fucking. Oh freeze. heck no. No. Nah, and like that just don't make no off the mountain like no. Nah. What kind? They're of survivors. Freeze? They've adapted. Maybe their ancestors were like that, but not them. Oh, they're kind of called fainting goats. Oh, they're literally fainting goats. Yeah. There's a whole category for them. Yeah. I, I mean, mine that. aren't, mine are what? Pig, pygmy goats? What am I called? Oh, I thought they were Spanish. The lady Spanish said, goats. um, Angora goats or something. Angora goat. Coño. Someone said they don't survive. They become tacos de birria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, she Is was... birria goat? Um, some. There's, um, there's both. So what is, it just mean meat? It's meat, yeah. Okay. So there's like goat birria and then there's birria de res, which I only eat birria de res. I don't like goat birria. It tastes like farm. I don't like eating goats just because I love them. <laughs> I think they're so fucking cute. They're so cute. Look at them with curly hair. Yeah, this Those is the, the one that, 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 yeah. that bitch is not about to freeze on anybody's ass. <laughs> when uh, he was getting like, I got a horn. I'm castrated. a whole different kind of breed and category <laughs> bitch of goat. I could never. I'm sure they see like a fainting goat and they're like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, wow. They watch them fall next to them. They're like, they're like embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. I can't believe you're a part of my family. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, they said that this was kind of what ours is, but this looks way curlier than ours. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When, when Drake grew up, I, I was shocked at how big he is. Why did I think you were really talking about Drake just now? No. I was like, when Drake grew up. <laughs> no, Drake Drake was a little baby, and he was with his mom and his you know, sister, and now he's a dad, and his mom's dead. And he's, he's a dad to Harry. his sister's children. Oh, my God. He's, he's a, had a rough life, bro. I'm stressed out. Well, apparently not, that, not as rough as his sister's. Yeah, the women always get the shorter end of the stick, man. Is <laughs> Even when she is? was a baby, right? The mom would... The mom loved the son. She hated her daughter. Wow, so it's it's crossbred? Like it's every it's all just species? All species. God damn. The mom always loves the son more. Always. How like do you it, feel about sometimes that? Sometimes it's like they love the son more, but sometimes it's just like the son get more leeway. Like they just are allowed to do whatever they want. Because that's the son. Look at him. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. Look at him. <laughs> the silence. Pure <laughs> silence. It's okay, um, whatever. I'm you see how mommy, right we make now. our own way and we got to be 10 times cooler. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have better personalities. Oh. Talk. Yeah, I mean, no, there's, no there's, you got there's a nice positives of, of, of uh, <laughs> Get shit everything. On, shit on all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? He's like, my sister talks mad shit. He's like, that's my fucking hell I got to live in. No, I'm he loves kidding. it. He loves it. I know. I love my brother. He's the best. Yeah. Fainting goat, what? Take Domestic. Care of your peoples. These are the kinds. Tennessee. Why is he? Why is a goat called Tennessee meat? <laughs> Specific. Nervous. Wait, oh wait, it's also known by some. A oh, nervous oh. goat and a stiff, stiff. goat. Stiff. Never mind. That's Texas not the wooden pens. leg. These are all. Yeah, that's just the other names for it. Oops. All right, let's go. Questions. Yes. Let's get out of the goat goatlandia. Yeah. Right. 
Oh, Somebody what, some more family feud the or these questions Ooh. over here? On the left side, I put the questions. That yeah, been... put, a, put a question from the peoples. Um, okay. I'm <laughs> clearly a little tizzy. The peoples. <laughs> <laughs> like. Uh, well, they said ma- mango or aguacate. Mango. You don't like guacamole? I love aguacate, but if I have to choose between a mango and an avocado, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick a mango every time. Have you ever eaten avocado just like straight up? Of course. I like, love avocados. But no, like just avocado, no food. No, yeah, nothing else. Nothing else. I love that shit. If it's okay. the right kind of avocado, because sometimes it tastes disgusting. But if it's like they sell these ming- ma- mangoes, they sell these avocados in Miami that are like just delicious when they're ripe, like just perfect. My grandpa used to bring us a bunch of them and we'd eat them. Sometimes, of course, limon is on, on everything, but... Mm. Some people eat them with like sweet, like. Yes, I've heard. I've heard that there's desserts made out of mango, like like a. No, like no. You make like a custard. Avocado, I was saying. Oh, like, what? Avocado. Like they don't they don't make the dessert with the avocado. They do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, con leche oh, condensada. You were saying mango. But. With leche condensada too. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah, ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard of I it. I haven't try tried that. it. I do want to try it though. I would love to try that. I love I love both of them. To be fair, what about you? Yes. Sorry, I have to. I'm so fucking fed up. Baby. I'm so fucking fed up. We're going to take the phone. No, yeah. No, we are. No, that's actually something like on the internet. Like, it's just one of those things where it's just like, you know, when you try to. What do people say? You know, the advice that you've given me, which is like, just let things be. Just move on. Just ignore. Yeah. But then people just push and push and push and push till it just like forever lives on the internet. Mm. And you're just like, how do you now? I got to know what happened, though. Nothing. You want to talk about fucking shit. Um, Avocados. You like avocados? Do you, you like a, prefer mangoes or avocados? Is the question. Shit. Wait. Why are we comparing those two? We're just. It's just a That's question. What somebody asked. Which one? Mangoes do you want? Or but they're two completely different things. Do I like guacamole? Yes. Do I like mango with? That's Chile literally what he asked Absolutely. me. He was like, "You don't like guacamole?" I was like, "Wait. We're not talking about what I like or what I don't like. We're talking about options. If we have a mango or an avocado, someone was like, mango. Which one? Mango, do you mango, want? mango, mango, mango. A mango. Yeah. A mango. Yeah. Come on. I like that. What? Sense. What did you just do? You just put a gun to my head? I did. Do it again. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah jesus yeah yeah, yeah. next question that is what please. it is uh Bucci. please let's let's, let's so look dumb. for something a bit more profound shall we um, and now it's like living on the internet and now it's up to me to take it down because what? it's bad for my mental health but it's like what are you talking about you, you, you did it about? now it's uploaded now you're you talking talk to the about? internet just people who like to talk shit and then it lives on the internet because people like to give it. But it's like, bro, like, just move, like, let's just all like. People love to bring names and that's why I stay very clear from drama. Like, I very stay clear. I don't fuck with bitches who got problems with me at all. <laughs> I just don't. You're getting she silence. Said it at all. You're getting <laughs> silence. You're not gonna get no text. You're not gonna get no DM. No, same. Silence. Same. Indifference. Same. You don't exist. I never knew you. You don't know me. We don't know each other. Um, I'm I'm question. On Next the, question. On the left Next. side, I put questions though. You Next see what question, I have? please. What theories do you have about death? Respond in Spanish, please. I don't about know. debt? Okay. Or death. Death, death bro. God yeah. damn. Trying okay. Get serious. If not, See, I can find it. I can start <laughs> this because I love being existential. Buenas. Te voy a hablar en español porque me preguntaste que te hablar en español. Y no estamos borrachos, by the way. Yo mm, <laughs> no estoy borracha, pero sí estoy un poco tipsy. Okay? okay. We're tipsy, but we're not wasted. Estoy bailando we aquí saucy. en la esquina. I'm just a little ear. We feel saucy. Okay, bueno. Okay, wait, this is a profound topic, so excuse me in advance if I don't, like, death? perfectly express myself. Careful what you say about death, because this room is haunted, but... Oh, well, that's okay. That's what I think about death. That's a huge part of it. Mm-hmm. Para mí, la vida no es una. Ahora mismo es una. Nosotros estamos aquí por esta vida, como somos, ahora mismo. Pero yo siento que hay vidas pasadas y vidas que vienen, um, dependiente en cómo estás... Esta, el nivel en donde estás, está tu alma en este momento y cómo creces en esta vida. Yo creo que um, vinimos para aquí, acá, o a diferentes mundos, no sé. Yo siento que hay otros mundos y universos y todo, de todo, multiverse, es lo que, lo que yo creo. Y creo que um, hay... hay Diferentes niveles, right, of spirits 
que existen con nosotros también, que nos ayudan. Los ancestros siento que van a, a algún lugar, pero es como you can tap into them, pero no están en un lugar en particular, porque sus almas también. Es más que está, you're tapping into la inteligencia que ellos tenían cuando estaban aquí, eh, cuando tú comunicas con ellos. Y yo siento que sí. ¿Eso me hace no, I get that. I just didn't realize that your tone of voice is different in Spanish and in English. Un poco. Es que estoy no, I fuck with that shit. I was, like, I was hearing her in Spanish. I was like, hey. And then she speaks English. I'm like, oh, it's Lauren. And then I'm like, oh, shit. Who the fuck is this? Bueno, <laughs> I was wilding right now. Tono, es un tono diferente, en serio. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. <clears throat> you, <laughs> where's the tequila again? Can you, oh, it's over there. No, we're not doing tequila. Actually, let's just do sake specifically. <laughs> Soften it up. Yeah, let's soften that up. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, it wasn't that much. I didn't <laughs> drink. It was sake on sake. <laughs> it was that much. It was, it was, it was hidden in the butt. Okay, ¿qué tú crees? De la, de la muerte. De, uh, de la muerte? Sí. Hey, man. No, I'm just joking. Uh, fucking uh, life, you know. La muerte. Um, ¿Qué piensas? De la muerte o de la vida? De la muerte, es la pregunta. De la muerte. Sí. ¿Qué mm. crees? Pienso que... No, they just asked Lauren, Snow, would Lauren be your type? <laughs> I wouldn't be, according to how she is about her type. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly what I said. According to how. I'm clearly not your type. <laughs> yeah, what was that? I'm not your type. I like pretty bitches. That's, that's it. You got it here first. <laughs> I broke the stereotype, bitches. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You are a pretty bitch. I am a pretty bitch, but you, yeah. say, you said you had a specific type of pretty bitch you like. You say it very consistently. I'm not that. But don't. You know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm. Okay, and you so just I told bro- me today. And mold. you just told me today who you talking to, so if that ain't me. No, it's not. So. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. But I did say it was a stem. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm not going to say, okay, I'm not gonna say what show. I want to show. say, but I'm going I'm to keep it. But I know. And you know. Mm-hmm. And we know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> About death. About back to death. Back to death. Ego death. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um. Death. Uh, I don't really want to talk about death. Uh, life. Uh, I think life. I think we're here. I think I think I've lived before. I think there's something that's been guiding me. I don't think I'm that fucking smart. I wouldn't give myself credit for most of the things I've done, but I do think that somehow something told me to do certain things in my life that I've done that have set me up to be exactly where I need to be. And I had no guidance. I didn't have a family that told me. Nobody told me anything about anything necessarily there wasn't these like mentors or advice or anything something from the fucking universe just mm. put something in me that made me pre tiktok pre youtube pre pre tutorials that's true do certain things along my life that i've been able to fucking follow that now somehow have manifested into the type of life that i had and i don't or have and i haven't necessarily i don't really know where i can pinpoint that but i know that there's been certain things in my head and now i have certain things in my head and my heart that are guiding me somewhere else and I would be stupid to not follow them. So all I could tell you is that about life. Yes, I do believe that we can live different lives before. I do think that there's this thing called slices of life and we've decided different things. There's like all these slices and you can decide different. Like it's like Paths. pick your own. Yeah. It's like pick your own fucking it really story. Is. It's play, it's player one. I often feel like I'm just like in a video game, like a simulation and I can, you can literally choose whatever reality you want to move in exactly it's kind of crazy it is there's a lot of programming that tells you that you're limited though there's a lot of things that tell you like oh you're limited to your circumstance you're limited to your experience you're limited to your traumas but if you if you really tap in with yourself and with your higher self and with god and with your ancestors and like you really tap in you can really do so much more than you think you can and when your mind is set on things the, the, I, I just saw jo- Dolly Parton talking about like dreaming versus wishing and how like when you dream, it drives you to bring things to fruition. Like there's a motive to, to, to actually tangibly create these things in your life. When you wish something to happen, it's like you're, it's like an empty promise to yourself, you know, because it's like you're like, oh, I wish this could happen. It's like, 
okay, cool, but what are you doing about it? If you dream it, you do it. If you wish it, you're just thinking about it. And when you just think about it, you're not really going to do much, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if that has anything to do with what we were talking about, but... I know. Life... Just a little from Dolly. Shit. It'd be... Dolly's awesome. I love I heard her. she's finally retiring from fucking touring, and I'm just like, that's fucking wild. That's dope. Shout out to Dolly Parton, because... She's just been touring for fucking ever. We love you, Dolly. We love her. I love you, Dolly. Dude. That's it. Straight up. I love her. Um, but yeah. Next question. Um <laughs> Slowly but uh, surely I'm really reaching there. Hmm? I'm I'm getting there. Getting where? To the to the drunk station. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not mad about it. I'm happy about it. I oh, like I, I love like being drunk. What color is your nails? Purple. Nice. And they're short. I like them. That's cute. What was that for? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Who's that uh, for? I usually have long nails. I usually have long nails. I was okay. Saying they're short right now. Oh. I'm just saying. I um, mean, it's never affected me none. Long nails, short nails. It don't matter. Long nails. Nothing it really matters. don't matter. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody um, said books or movies. Boats or movies? Books. Oh. You read books basically. I love books. Oh yeah. I do. I read a lot of books. More but, than movies. Um, it depends to be fair. Like if we're talking about I a, thought you said both. A book <laughs> and a movie that are of the same thing, like like the Hunger Games book versus the Hunger Games franchise. Yeah. I like the books better. Uh, even though the Hunger Games did a really good job of making it a franchise. Like they did a really good job with the movies. Was there ever a Lord of the Flies movie? I don't Yeah. Think I think so. That's the only way I've seen it. Is that what Yellow That's Jackets the only reason is? I know Have you seen about Yellow it. Jackets? No. Nah. I read that's kinda Lord of the Flies. Mm-hmm. But it was a soccer team, female soccer team. But sorry, not to interrupt you guys, but I just No, you're not. Because you talked about books and I think Lord of the Flies was a book that I always was like I was that a movie. There's I read book. the book, but I never saw the movie. Mm, I didn't see the movie either. And I don't think I read the book either. I only seen the movie. <laughs> just a bunch of boys on a deserted island. You never saw for power. Yellow Jackets? No. It's a soccer a female soccer team on a deserted you know, they I saw Bend It Like Beckham. That's the female soccer team movie that I saw. Love that film. I saw the big green. <laughs> That's how old I am. I don't know that one. Most people here didn't. Did I you? I don't know that one. The big green? What is that about? No. Soccer team. Uh, soccer yeah. team. All right. What about Bend it like Potter? Beckham never saw that. Harry Potter? I didn't read the books. Oh. Uh, I love the movies, though. Ooh. And I'm sure the books are good. So, but now, now you know, I don't really fuck with J.K. Rowling like that, so. All right. I didn't see or read or nothing Harry Potter. I swerved that whole thing. Somebody said, what's the sign you would never date? The sign I would never date? Based off your past. Don't give us the whole, like, oh, it's not about signs, because I know it's not. Yeah, it's not. Based off my past? I guess. The thing is, I don't don't hate anybody. I I didn't have bad, bad experiences, to be honest. I, I had, I mean, I had shitty experiences, but more so because of the people they were, not because of their sign, you know? Um... True. What sign would I not fuck with? Is there a sign that you I don't, don't fuck I with? I don't. I think dating Libras maybe is not really my thing. I heard. I feel that. very indifferent about Libras. Not in a bad way. I love y'all, but I just I feel indifferent about y'all. <laughs> I indifference love- is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> I feel like indifference is so much worse than fucking hating. I could be friends with y'all, though, like, for sure. Like, I love, I, I don't want to get in trouble. Fuck that. I like all the signs. All of you guys are my friends. I want, I want feelings. If you don't. I like passionate I, people. If I love can we, can me we or say, hate me, but can do we say not feel indifferent sign? about me, baby. Can we like, say which sign we prefer? Can we do that instead? I instead of the one. one I wouldn't date, like, which, which I haven't signs? dated enough to have, to know what sign I would prefer. I like Leo's. Fuck me. I know. Really? I do like Leos. God, I've dated dang. a lot of Leos. And I like Scorpios. You know you're literally Scorpios. in... Uh, and Cancers. You know you're not compatible with Leos, right? I don't know about that. <laughs> I've you had see, some real compatible... Long. I've had some real compatible Leo experiences, Where are you at now? personally. You might not have the, the one that you have, but uh, you know. No, I was no, I was lit. <laughs> exactly, I'm that's what saying, I'm saying. No, the that's sex what we're saying. Lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sex the same way that anything that's wrong is right, it feels right. <laughs> that's it's just what it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Scorpios, I feel like we we be vibing. 
Scorpios be lit. I love I, I love Scorpios. I'm and a Scorpio moon. So. You know why? Because I feel like Scorpios are like everybody like warns you about it and like makes it this big deal, and then you meet them and you're like, I'm a Cancer. Oh, that's I don't not, like. I don't want to date a Virgo. Not. Oh, I did a Virgo one. You're out of it. I did not like that experience. I, I don't hate I don't like a Virgo. Somebody you know telling what? me about that's myself right. all the goddamn okay. time. No, it's all not right, that. Guys. The girl that we're, turned me out was, was a Virgo, and I fucking Virgo. hate her. I don't hate Virgos. I just don't know if I would date one again. Yeah. You know? Me either. I love them as friends. I love them as friends, too. Yeah, I love they're, them as I friends. Like organized. Homies. All that. And they're, they're really good about telling you about yourself. And mm-hmm. I want that in a friend. In a partner, I like it, but like I feel like sometimes the partner will get too comfortable in telling me about myself. There's a, di- <clears throat> there's a difference between somebody who like is like... Like friendly telling you about yourself and then like a partner telling you about yourself because sometimes there's no limit to like what they think they can tell you you know what i can tell you about virgos though is that, that if they're telling you what they say it's one, one person uh, because one, one person, i mean just in general my brother's very not you know, really confrontational so oh well that's a see that's a that's a person you ever, thing. You no you ever i feel Waterboy? like most virgos i've met i'm a boy go aren't like that i'm a boy go like he's he says it in the movie he's like i'm not confrontational i'm a boy go i feel like most virgos that i've met i would like them to say what they mean the people that i've i've not been cool with is the fact that they never said what they meant so they thought a lot and they were analytical but they just talk shit behind your back because they I hate that shit. didn't have the balls to say it i think that's the problem Vir- if a Virgo was to say what they mean, fuck it. We live. That's cannot, my brother. We good. I cannot good. be friends with those kinds of bitches, man. I I hate people. Jamie's a Virgo and she says what she means. Behind my back. But I met a couple of Virgos that just didn't have the balls to say it. And I'm just like, bro, you got a whole lot of analytical fucking communication going on in your fucking brain, but you didn't say none of this shit to me, bitch. Say it to my face, bitch. Right? And all I did was like, Psh. I was like, you out of here, bro. You out of here. That's it. <laughs> ain't no fight. Ain't no nothing. It's just you out of here. You know what your L is going to be? Hold this L. I'm out of your life. And I'm fucking amazing. Yeah. I am also, a source. disclaimer, we're obviously generalizing based off of our own experiences. So, yeah. That's what you asked for, right? Love to if, you all. Because if you want us to give a very PC answer, it would be like, we love all signs. We yeah. love you all. I like Capricorns. Everything's great. It's great. I have a lot of sexual energy with Capricorns. I don't. You should try it. I did. Oh, <laughs> for like three years. No, I had. I know. Actually, you know what? If I could be, if I, if I won't lie to myself, we did at that time. I have since done more sexual I have things. Since <laughs> upgraded my sexual experiences <laughs> to <laughs> toxic. <laughs> I have now seen what toxic sexual experiences are like, and they are great. I don't like toxic sexual experiences. What are you talking about? I don't like it. What do you mean? I don't like being toxic with people. Sexually or just in relationships? I'm not talking about relationships. What's I'm talking to- about sexually. What's, to- what's toxic sexual for you? God damn, this is a hard cut. Ito, can you get out? Can you run the boards? Ito, get out. Let's have a real girl talk. Ooh. Ooh, Sorry, really- that's my brother, bro. Do you think I want to have a... Do you think you know the, what? Ans- you, the you, question you're is... Right, you're right, you're right. What's Wait, a toxic don't- sexual relationship in my brother's right there? They're like... Do you mean like BDSM? Or like- I just mean... look. Oh. He should have took the tequila left, bottle. He left, he left. Okay, so get into it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. You. You too, though. <laughs> I'm not going to say all this shit. You right there. I feel like you're burning a hole through the fucking uh, light. <laughs> Just go take the bottle. You know what? As a matter of fact, take that bottle and go take a, get a, take a shot with my brother. That'll, that'll get you the perfect amount of brownie points. Get the bottle. Take it with my brother. No. See, that's toxic. All right, so. And a Scorpio. Okay, so now we're alone. Tell me about your sexual experience. No, I just kind of wanted all the eyes to be off me. I was like, God damn. Can we say that it was, you didn't feel it? I felt it. It's my brother and. I get it. I respect it. I, I hear you. Mm. Like, I don't know if I would want to talk about sex with my brother either. But Right? Yeah. Wait, how old your brother? He is 24. Oh, that's cute. He he's lives in Florida? Cutie. Yeah, he's in Miami. Uh, yeah. He white like you? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to envision. I'm trying to envision what your family's like. I don't know. I've never seen them. <coughs> yeah, we're all pretty white. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. My mom is a fucking redhead ginger lady. Mm. She has no soul. But wow. it'd be like that. Damn. That's. Well, I have mommy issues. Clearly, we all know this, right? And but I love her. I get it. I love her. I get it. Am I drinking that or am I drinking this? More sake. Um, this is mine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. 
I'm about to finish this motherfucking bottle. Oh, there's my There's bottle. a whole nother one, too. Oh, you want the Don? Mm-hmm. Don Julio. Just because I know how to... I know how I act off that. The only time I've ever drank sake is on dates. So I don't know how I... Act I don't want that. you sleepy. Well, no, I got <laughs> I got sleepy after the day. You... I so, heard cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God damn. I know, right? Uh you said Scorpios are very attracted to me. God damn. I mean, to be fair, Scorpios act like they're attracted to everybody. I love. That's the whole thing about Scorpios. The thing is, I had a Scorpio experience. I hope this doesn't count too far. <clears throat> but um, I had a Scorpio experience and uh, it wasn't it. Mm-hmm. And I think that it, I, if I had a different experience, maybe with another Scorpio, it might be it. It's like the foreplay was amazing, and then we got into it, and he just could not. Oh, it's because that was a guy. Though. That perform. Had to do. You're right. It was that. I, I, yeah. If we could be fair, and let's be very honest about the spectrum that is sexuality, right? Because let's be real. Like, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to hold back anymore, because guess what? It's the, it's all out for everybody else. So anybody that could be possibly triggered about this, you can't even say nothing. Because I ain't fucked the man in a long time. So let's talk about it. I've been married. I've dated men. I've dated women. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Me too. When I Not talk about what it is when you're talking about like sex or like anything like that, women, to me, the reason that I've chose to say that I most, I predominantly, I'm going to date women is because women are fucking beautiful. It's like sensual. It's like sexy. Be- women are like just, just everything that isn't. Like, I get the whole, like, man thing, but it's, like, unless, like, you gotta, like, it gotta be some, like, you know what I mean? Woke-ass human. <laughs> Aware. Other than that, it's, like, women are beautiful. Whenever guys go, oh, well, you're a fucking carpet muncher, I'm, like, bro, the fact that you would ever come at me for dating women, like, do you think you like women as much as you, as you think you like women? I because I don't think most of them really like women. They just want to fuck women. Because it's for like, a man, they like, they like women as a concept, not as like a tangible human being. Especially when I have TikToks with my son, right? And then every time I, I do TikToks with my son, it's, oh, you have a kid, but you're gay. And then it's like, yeah. And then the next comment is like, oh, a man must have done her wrong. And it's like, no, me liking yes. women has less to do with a man doing anything wrong and more with, to do with a woman doing everything right. That's it. Ooh, I like that. Or me doing something right to a woman. Like, I know what I want to do to her. That has nothing to do with what Krusty did to me. Like, that has nothing. Like, I, it's fine. Me, I'm very confident. Me, sexually. As a person, I'm very not confident. Or, like, what's the word? Um, You know, I, know I have low self-esteem about whatever the fuck. Like, you I know, think that's a what thing. I look like. But sexually, yeah, we're not talking about that. I think that's a cancer thing for sure because... We're just like intuitive. Cancers are fire. And tap in bed. the fuck in. Like right? I, I dare you to tell me that you have bad sex with cancer. Like I dare you. There's I feel like no the way. most of the bitches that hate cancers is because they loved it with a cancer and they didn't get their way in other places. No, I really feel that way because I, I'm so tapped in when I have sex with somebody. Like I, I, I can feel you. I can feel what you Ooh, want. I can so feel what you like. You know the whole like not touching. What? Uh huh. Like mind. teasing. Yeah, no, but yeah, but like that, like beyond, like that should be fucking. Never mind. Like, you like you know what? Huh? I mean, like let, cheers. What? We what? not. I don't. Be clear, bitch. What are you talking about? <laughs> I that slipped out, and then I realized we're on the fucking podcast, so we're just oh. gonna talk about what. Go ahead, keep talking. Ooh. I wasn't saying nothing. I'm drinking. <clears throat> what? Did we just not like? end of the road no it's not the end of the road <laughs> i think i think it's lit you know you never answered the original question right that what you was kicked the original? out of the room for what was the original question guys can you remind me <laughs> you don't even know the original i don't remember because i'm drinking i like that we oh agree. oh 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 what is toxic sex to you you said you like toxic sex. So what is toxic sex? No, I mean like the fact that sometimes you may not be compatible with somebody relationship wise, but the sex is fire. Mm. But you're like, you know better. Mm. So like you both see each other. Like the only place you see each other is there. That's it. I don't think I've ever had that. Really? Yeah. Like I've never, I don't know if I've never, like if I have that good of sex, like I'm in a relationship with you and I'm in love with you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like somebody that I like to fuck, but I don't. Com- I'm not compatible with. 
relationship wise. I mean, I've actually had way more bad experiences sexually than I have had good ones, to be honest. It's sad. Did you date more men or women? Um, in my later years, I've dated more women. In my younger years, I dated a lot of men. But overall, and if you were to be like, where does I it think teeter? I've dated. Honestly, it's pretty. It's pretty even at this point in my life, to be honest. And I think it's really more of beyond a gender thing. It's really about like who taps in, you know, mm -hmm. and like who listens and who asks what I want. Because most of the time, like if somebody thinks they know what I want, I, I had a, I had a, when I was younger, especially I had a huge problem, like vocalizing, like, I don't really like that or I really want you to do this. And then also I had a, a thing where like I would vocalize what I wanted and then the person would just like do what they wanted instead. And that, that's happened to me a lot. I wish I honestly, I wish I am that's a gross. whore. So I really wish that I had had more sex. I have more sexual experiences that were really good because I would have, I just love fucking. So like, I would love to do that. But like, I, <sighs> Lauren, mm. what? <laughs> I, I like mean... sex. I love sex. Like I love having sex. I think it's, I think it's the creator in me. You know what I'm saying? Like the creative energy. It's like all sacral chakra. So I'm an artist, so I like to fuck. I don't know. Does that make sense to y'all? It makes sense to me. No, I like, I mean, I like to fuck. I get it. But <laughs> I'm just saying I just haven't. Um, My sex drive is insane. No. You don't got to tell me. Uh, but what I'm saying is just. That's, I an, impl that's an implication that's not true. Relax. <laughs> what do you mean? You, I say you don't got to tell me. Oh, as a cancer. I have a lot of sex. Oh, period. Okay. Yeah. Like, I just don't have a lot of sexual partners. Right. But I, like, do I yeah mm. that's why that's probably why i don't talk about it so much mm. it's maybe like the the catholic raised super like suppressed thing I feel that, that I, made it be so like it's yes. a wrong thing to talk about which is yes. why a lot of people wonder why i don't talk about it in rap it's like i don't talk about it in rap because i was you, i got married at 19 because i thought it was wrong to have sex with people you weren't married to i was fucking like trust that's me wild. but i learned i did i learned everything about myself and that person was blessed. That's why to this day, all my exes love me. That's We're true. Gonna, all my exes, all my exes are, love me. Are not gonna have a fucking. They can say whatever the fuck they want to say about my personality and this and that and that. You not talking shit about what the fuck I know. I did because you're not. You're not. Like that's one place I'm confident. I'm more confident about that than I am about my face card, me, my the way I dress, my money, my anything. I'm confident about one place. I can fuck you right. <laughs> oh, two places. My head game is fucking fire. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. You feel me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what it is. We out here. Like, because. <laughs> All right, next question. Eat <laughs> all! Come back. Um, Come back. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, baby. <laughs> what? She said, Come back. We're not gonna. You gotta come back. We gotta yeah, stop we talking about back. sex because it's getting hot in here. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. I, you know, go, go, go. I'm, I want to see how hot it's going to no, get. No, 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 no. It's the socket. She's scared. Is a lot. Oh, she don't want to talk about it. Oh, is that our chata? Yeah. We're going to get her honey yes. and chata. Oh, is that my food, yeah, too? Yummy. It's lit. It's lit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You going to move my purse? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Anyways, boom, 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 can we can we get another boom, question? Or so many questions. Do you want to play? Somebody game? ask questions to Lauren. Boom 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 boom. How yeah, do you bring it? She one? says she wanted to taste henny chata. I don't I don't know if I should mix the henny and the sake though. We gotta save the henny for the next time. But I'm gonna have that horchata. Thank you. Oh my god, I love. I already it. reacted to Shakira, y'all. See this? I'm very grateful. Y'all see Thank this? You, Lee. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Does it's he just know? A does, does he know? He's How did you pull this up? <laughs> he's like, he's like, speaking of, let is me that a, is that a camel? Yeah, a camel eating a cactus. Doesn't that hurt, bro? Is he okay? And the other one's like, oh my. dude, imagine the fucking cactus going down your throat. Like, no. That's what straight sex is like to a girl that was a lesbian for a long time. <laughs> Dry. A cactus. Down the throat? No. Come on. Dicks are softer than that. 
I mean, they should have me. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> I yeah. love horchata. This is really good horchata. Where's horchata y dos de lengua. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Love you. Oh, they put the food pretty close to the candles. Um, this is yummy. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I only have animal videos. Look at this. Bro. Nice. Edo said, wholesome bitch. A rhino. Is he is he TikToking? Yeah, it's on TikTok. He looks like he's like TikToking though. You know what I mean? Like he's he's a like TikToker. He knew. Yeah, like he he's knew. He's like, that hey, this look, is... it's my watermelon. Oh, you want to yeah. see me eat this watermelon? He I feel like that's so all big. people do on TikTok. Is like, you want to see me do this? Sorry. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am no, I wrong? You not? Am I wrong? You know, we need to do another live on TikTok. <laughs> that's fine. I feel like I feel like I I I think I do good lives with people like they're you good. You do great lives. What yeah. is that 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 lip? That's yeah. a, that, this is a dinosaur. It's like got control and everything. It's a motherfucking dinosaur. My I can't believe how like, easy that is for him though, because he looks like he's just softly tapping it, but that's just like, whoosh, like what? And like, how does he? It's crazy. Like his eyes have to focus that close to like right in front of his horn. I mean, yeah, of course. He's got you know the the eyes are kind of far away from the the place he's looking at, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what, today when I, I saw imagine, my like, dog about to eat the on, chicken. Like, both sides of my head, like, how do you see forward? It's... Have you ever seen a crocodile? Yes. An alligator? An alligator for sure. In Cali, in, Cali, in Florida. How about all them lizards y'all got? I hate lizards. I hate That's them. That's crazy. Y'all got mad them. lizards. I was going so out. So many lizards. I got out of my fucking car to go into a show, and there was a lizard, like, right in front of me, like, just face to face. And I was like, God damn, Florida. I grew up with a lot of lizards everywhere at all times, and I I dislike lizards deeply. And really? frogs. I don't like frogs, and I don't like lizards. Like, do not pull any of them in my face. Don't touch me with, if you, mm, if you even remotely think about touching me with a lizard, I'll kill you. Oh. I'm not passionate about it. <laughs> How about snakes? You you feel more passionate about lizards than snakes? I love snakes. <gasps> snakes are dope. Snakes have like they you know that they only feel vibrations. Like they go purely based off of the vibe. Like deaf things. people. Coño. Oh, sorry. No, I mean, isn't that they can see? Well, yeah, but like no, oh, but like deaf people see. like hearing. No, because I've seen deaf people dance, and I think that's dope. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> they love the bass. Bro, deaf people can dance so they can feel the bass. That's fucking lit. That is lit. I'm not saying like I a don't, bad I thing. don't know why that shit is funny to me that you just said that. I'm sorry. I'm a little drunk. It's not my fault. I'm just saying. You're the like, one that made me drink. I told you I wanted water. I said I we all consensual water. adults here as opposed to that avatar who may or may not be an adult. Stop. We established she's 19. Period. But she's also an avatar in a fake world, <laughs> so that's not up to us. For example, my sex. One of the one of the times that I could think of back, I don't think it was a sexual awakening for me at the time. But now, when I think back of like these grown up feelings and what the fuck I felt at that moment, mm -hmm. was the first time I watched Little Mermaid. <gasps> me too. But Ariel? I didn't. Oh I didn't know why there was a scene where she was just like swimming through the water, and I at that moment I don't even think I knew what it was. I just know that my brain checked whatever that feeling was just as a like what is this it i didn't know anything sexual about it mm. but then when i grew up i, I was like hmm. Hmm. and jasmine 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 had me fucked up and there was just this feeling especially of, when that scene when she, she was, was half red. fish oh my God. she was half fish like what the fuck is going on she was like, a thick like, she's a thick fish no she was a thick fish i think it was just this feeling of just like her not fit, fitting in and like she she needs to her be saved like i want to be the prince like she don't know what she's doing it's she so needs cute. to be saved from life i can't wait to see hallie as her as ariel i'm excited about that i just i don't know Hallie's also fine as fuck. <laughs> and people told me Jamie's the one that was like, oh, I know your type, bitch. She was like, you don't have the type you think you have. You like doe eyes, bitch. And I was like, she was drunk. And I was like, you how many doe, doe eyes? eyes? No, I like doe eyes. Like, I'm bit, like when girls hit me, give me that look, when they look all like, I need to be seen. I'm like, like, oh, fuck. Here like I go. Like, boots. Fuck me. I'm like, <laughs> now I gotta pay all your bills. <laughs> fuck. Come on. Damn, I got you. you I love that bills? shit. I pay bills. You I pay, pay bills. bills. I buy cars. I do whatever the fuck you want me to do, bitch. I love you. Oh. 
Is Those are baby? the doe eyes. Damn. Well, they're doe. Big bright eyes, just like <laughs> so. Y'all type is thick. Look at my soul. Braided avatar. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? We need to stop talking about fictional characters and being attracted to them, bitch. This is going to be on the internet. We're going to show up. We can't do this. We can't. We're going to show up. Is that we're bedroom eyes? Wait, what's weird. bedroom eyes? Is that doe eyes? Doe eyes, yeah. <gasps> is bedroom eyes? Ooh. I don't know. Bro, when a girl hit me with that little, like, fucking daddy save me look. Oh. I mean, this is what, what do you need me to do for you? I think I'm the one that gives that daddy save me energy. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you did that once during the fucking piña video. And I was like, I, I was at the bitch I was with. I know you were. I know you were acting. I was on But that's mean? why it, it, it don't matter. The fan, like for a, like a creepo man like me, right? You're not a creepo. It's the, it's the energy. It's the, it's the vibe in that moment. Why do you think I like strip clubs? I don't believe them. I'm, I'm not going to take them. I'm not going to wife them. I just like the feeling of, let me throw money. Let me, this is it. Let, let's I make this. Strip, we should go to a strip club together. Right now. What do you mean right now? You're not down. I'm not down? Let's go. Today? Right now. You're paying? Yes. Awesome. I will throw your money at a strip club. Easy. Why? Easy. Whose else money were you going to throw? Mine? I'm usually the one that is giving people the money to throw. On tour, on tour, I went to Magic City, and it was my money. <laughs> it was me. So I threw a band, and then my tour manager threw a band, and then I threw another band, and then she threw another band. And we threw what is that? Snow Loki, a dirty old man? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I love that. Sh I don't give a fuck because I'm a fine bitch, so I don't care. Like I'm a dirty old man with a nice body and a nice face, at least, and a fat tongue. What you? Sorry. What? Oh, uh, we going Me to the strip club? Oh no. Oh, what okay. happened? We need to like change topics. Oh, back to uh, <laughs> the avatars or the fish? No, that we neither one with. of those. I feel like we need a new, fresh. Like, let's play catch ultimate phrase. What's this? How do we play this? <laughs> I'm curious about this circle. You know what okay. that is? So, you do this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> um, toss up. Okay. Okay. So you play. You go like this. For example, mongoose. You got to give me the hints. Oh, if, if this you, is too hard. No, if you Another see category. rice pudding. Okay. Right? No, you just keep going like this until you find something you think is going to be good. So, for example. Um, you just went through so many. You just keep, oh, look, rainbow. So you're like, oh, the gay flag. And then I'm like, oh, rainbow. And then you're like, okay, cool. And then you hand it over to me. Okay. And then I do the next, and then I do the next. And then so watch. How, what is the drinking part of this? When it goes, whoever lands on. Oh, okay. Can we restart? Just keep pressing it. It's speeding up, so hurry up. You're going to give it to me when I have to drink. No. Hey, no, don't you go can't so fast. Just... You can't describe any of those words? Yeah, you got to describe them. I'm sorry. I want it. I, if I'm being honest, I want this to start from the top. Um, okay. My OCD let is it, like, no, it, we're not starting halfway through the timer <laughs> ticking. Like. You just click through like 50 words. I just, I wanted to speed it up. Oh, no, that won't speed it up. Oh, it's, just, okay. it's just time. All Somebody right. says Snow was a pimp in her previous life. I was a pimp when I was 18. What do you mean Damn. by that? Elaborate. I had hoes. What makes you a pimp? I had hoes on the whole stroll in the hotel. That you that would that get were paid in my like, car, and you would stay at my house, and you got paid like a percentage off of whatever they did. Yes, and then I told them to go home, and I said I motivated them to be independent Damn. women. You were real gangster, huh? I mean, if we I were to like go it. by description, you are. You're you're harder than did half I these have men. Those? Yes. Did I sell? Okay, time's up. All right, so that means okay. that we. I mean, they can, because I be tricking. Wait, 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 go. Keep going. You got to get to the PIMP. Yeah, know, come on. Oh, you looking for dollars. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, again, start. Bam. Toss up? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is something that you do when um, you're congratulating somebody. Like uh, it's a, it's a, it's a. You give them flowers. You use your hands to do it with you somebody hug them. else. You high five. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um. Shit. Come on. Okay. Bro. Um. Don't play me like this. in the chat too. Okay. If I tell you, like, if you tell me something crazy and I'm just like, oh my god, I am. 
just shocked. The other word. Surprise. No, it's a different word. I'm like Sh- excited. Oh my god. Shit. No, I'm shook. I don't know. Shook. Shook. Yeah, no, but I already changed it. But that's the same. Okay, shocked, yeah. Shook. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it would need to be Okay, if I tell you I'm not your but you, boxing, you do this. You hit it. Punch. It's a it's a it's uh, a long um, bag. Punching bag. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um um Okay, when you've eaten a lot of food and you get real tired, you're in a uh, coma. Food coma. Ah. Damn, I'm really good at this. I need to be. Okay, the rapper that was just on that song, 50 Cent. Yes. Oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> this is something that you do that you hate to do to lose weight. Uh, exercise. Yeah, but what, what specifically which kind that you hate? Uh, cardio exercise. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, it's a dog. He has a lot of spots. Dalmatian. Yes. Um... Um, this is uh, something you put ice cream in and it smells really, really, really good and you never rarely, you rarely get it, but like it's always there and it makes the whole place smell really delicious. Waffle cone. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> eat. No, drink. Sorry. Oh, eat. <laughs> you eat. First of all, I, I feel like I did very good for that. We both you said really waffle good. cone? Waffle cone. I was thinking about that. You did. You did. We did good. I like that 50 Sam pop, though, because that was easy. <laughs> I was like, that rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. All right, cool. Tequila and horchata. Straight off a bitch's ass. Zoom in, Nito. She far. A little tighter, please. Yo, these bitches. Please capture the cheeks. Yo, Can these you bitches is really out here looking like this. I was shocked. When I was back in the single life and I seen bitches is really looking like this, I was like, yo. Don't make, don't make other bitches feel insecure. What? If you guys, if you have a little booty, it's okay. First of all, I like all bitches. Skinny, fat, tall. I like cellulite. I like um, every fucking which way. I like everything. Same. <laughs> I really do like all kinds of women, though. Like, women are so beautiful in oh, so Jesus. many different ways. That's why, you know why? That, that's why it makes me mad when everyone's like, like when when fucking publications and media is like, you guys you need to look this specific way or else you're not hot. And it's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Because someone who looks like that is just as hot as someone who looks like this. And like, women come in all shapes and sizes, and our bodies are not trends. Boom. She said, put a little or something. Okay, so this is. It's a movie. Wait. It's a movie. Uh-huh. Buzz Lightyear was in it. Uh, a Toy Story. Shit. Okay. Um, mm, okay, this is a type of animal. It's in the ape family. And um, it was uh, in Tarzan. Chimpanzee. The, no, no, no. Gorilla. Yes. Okay, if you're not using Apple f- to get to your destination, you're using Google? Another word. Google Maps? Yes. Um, okay. Mm. Okay, this is something that you get mimosas at. And Brunch. you go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see what? Okay, if you're not at the minors, but you're playing baseball, what are you Major at? Major leagues. Dang. Um, oh, this guy was my mentor on X Factor. Come on, bro. Oh, you don't know about me, huh? There's four judges. He was, used to be an American Simone, Idol, and then Simon he, Cowell. Yes. Okay. Is that really? Yeah. I don't know nothing. Yeah. I liked you. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, this just happened. It was in. Um, they play um, soccer. It was a big deal. The World Cup. Um. 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 You know Simon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's drink. You know Simon? I do know Simon. I didn't even know that. I know Simon Cowell. That's wild. I've been in his house and everything. Hey. I know his child. Do you slap box with him? You should. What does that mean? What is slap box? Oh, I'm just like just slap box. I I'm couldn't just, do that. That's a joke. I feel like he controlled my life for a while, so I can't do that. Oh, it's like still to this day, you ever no, 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 respect? Not to, not you don't to talk to him anymore. Not to this Are you day. like yo? F- no, 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 no. That you good? I, you, you just we gotta be faithful. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, drink, drink, drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm forgetting. I'm just forgetting. Honestly, this is news no, to no, me. No, no, no. He's he's. I grew up watching. So me and my brother, we're I, like I'm older than you, obviously. So like I grew up watching American Idol. I mean, and I used to VHS tape the episodes. Yeah, me too. So I I, was I grew up. I grew up watching American Idol, and my grandma would watch it with us, 
um, it was like a family thing that we would do. And she would always tell me, she's like, one day you're going to sing for Simon Cowell and he's going to love you and you're going to do your thing. And da, da, da. She was always like That's my most awesome. supportive, supportive, supportive human. Like she would, I, every little dance that I would make up in my room and perform, I perform it for her. And she would mm. be like, good show. You're amazing. Like mm. amazing, right? Well, Got you? my confidence. Oh. Grace. Oh, I love and then she passed away, unfortunately. Mm, fuck cancer. That. And um, that hey. was the year that I auditioned for um, X Factor was the year that she passed. What's this thing on? Somebody put it on me on tour. Yeah. And I haven't taken it off. Because, yeah, fuck cancer. It takes off all the best people, man. My grandma, too. Watch what you eat, bitches. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Damn. It's true, though. Just food is medicine. And so are herbs. As a cancerian woman, can cancerian woman, don't we all feel, like, don't we wish we could have changed the name? A little bit. I had, listen, so, 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 there is another name for cancers, and it's called Kefra. And I personally prefer that. Kefra. But, but we have to make, like, a movement. Let's make a movement. Can we make a movement? Right, man, right now. Well, I'm a Kefra. I'm not a can- I don't like being called a cancer. I feel like it's it's strategic, too, that they call us the cancers, because we're the most, like, nurturing. My ex used to like, be, like, I'm a cancer survivor. Oh, my God. For dealing with me. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> That it wasn't so even because of me. It was because of accountability. She she associated accountability with me. Like, I was just like, you remember like, when you did this? And, like, which was, like, real, like, actual. And it was like, oh, wow. And it's like, oh, wow, you're <laughs> such a cancer. So, anyways, <laughs> anyway. if you're a cancer, now Kefra. because... Because to know the product and Lauren Haragi Sanso, cancers are now Kefras. Put that in your soup. Put that in your fucking mouth and bite it. Write an article about that shit, Rolling Stone. Kefra. If you want. I'll hit up my Rolling Stone plug and, and just me, 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 cancer. Me, me. I mean, smell the product and learn her right. Can- cancel cancer. It's because I don't like the name, bro. <laughs> I like, hate why it. is it called cancer? I like, don't know. Like I hate a girl it. that's a Scorpio gets to be like, I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, be Scorpio all sexy. Is so cool. Sagittarius. You know? That's fucking dope. I'm a fucking Aquarius. Taurus. And we're like, cancer, whatever. You, you don't said it. He's like, yeah, all Ooh. I think about is grandma. Like, <laughs> the thing that took all, our grandma. Ouch. <laughs> what would you mean? It took my no, best it took, grandma. It took mine too. It took both my It took both my grandma. It took my grandma. It took both my grandmas. It took one of my grandpas. And the other grandpa died, unfortunately, of dementia and COVID. But like, it took my grandma, it took my grandpa. Well, really, all of them. If we're being honest, all of them. The only died reason it took my grandpa was because he didn't want to cheat, deal with the fucking accountability of the SA he was doing. But yeah. that's we're not gonna talk about that. Mm. So, anyways, we're not cancers anymore. We're kefras. Boom! It's official. Kefra. If you don't know what I'm What's talking about, what's the sign? What's the sign for that? It's the same sign. We have a the weird 69? Ass sign too. We got a 69, yeah, 69 and we're called cancers. Like, bro, like, give us one. <laughs> just, just give us one I've thing. Been saying that, I've bro. always wanted. I'm like, like oh, why I am get, I a 69? I, get, I wish that I had a cool fucking thing because I, I would have tatted that ten fucking... years ago. Like, I got it. Wait, I got you it. Have it a, you have the 69? Have a 69. I mean, it makes sense. Like I'm gay, right here. So. Uh huh. But it's like I don't want it to be like because I wanted it somewhere on my neck. But then I I'm like I don't get, want a dude to be like oh six nine. I want to get, no? I wanna like, get oh, um, the ca- the constellation on my hand. Like I can't. Yo, my tattoo Kefra artist is in, is in Miami. He's bomb. He's oh, a good. Great tattoo know. artist. Amazing. Who's you your tattoo person? artist? I've been to a bunch of people. Well, my guy. Well, my my main guy passed away, and mm. then I and then I, I get a lot of my good work from. Um, my boy in Miami, but then I've gotten little, like, for example, I went to Hollywood and I like getting like in the moment tattoos, like, yo, let's remember this night. So I, I got this. I don't know who the fuck these people. And then, um, my friend just did that on her own. What do you mean? You don't. Oh yeah. Cause you're not that tatted. Once you no, get I'm after not. a certain amount of tats, you start being like, yo, I want to remember this moment right I now. I have this, this. I want my brother to tap me. I want my brother to like put something on me. That's like, I don't give a fuck if it's ugly. I don't give a fuck. I want. See, I, I, I give such a fuck about whether it's ugly or not. Like, I'm really? so... This if I'm going to have something permanently on Once me Once I got this forever, fucking taco like, on me? My friend. <laughs> 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 I got this taco with four people. And, and, and I never wherever they my, are... I never took Two of those people I don't even talk to no more. So it's just me and Yeo. We got this. But two of those people I don't talk to no more. So it is what it is. But what about the crab? Y'all don't like the crab? It just makes it look That's like you I'm love saying. crab. A fucking crab. A 69, yeah, and like we're crabs. called cancers. Like, bro, like, pick nobody a battle. wants crabs. Nobody wants cancer. Pick a fucking battle, And bro. depending on who you're fucking with, you might not want a 69. I don't know about that. I think 69 is a really solid position. Some of no you bitches, what. no, it is, but some of you bitches be, I mean, if that's what y'all doing, 
that's questionable. What do you mean? I just. I want to know what you mean by this. Okay, I'm not talking about you. What? It's a conversation about people who's fucking disgusting looking people that I'm like, I don't think that's the place you want to put your face. But no, Are you talking about stank pussy? No. No. But all right, no. Andy, keep going. I'm I'm so confused. But? I wanna know <laughs> I wanna know what you mean. Be clear. We just gonna keep it pushing. Whatever, let's keep going. Let's then. keep going. But crab meat is great. I love crab. Right? I so love like you crab. have this hard shell actually, exterior and this soft crab little meat. Yeah, but then, be- like I don't know. I think the other the other signs have a one up. Like as far as like the representation. I think Libra has a way better one up than they deserve because Libra always wants to be like, I'm fair, I'm great, I'm this, I'm that. But then when you Balanced. meet a Libra, you're like, actually, you're on the fence. That's why you act like this. Like, you can act like this, you can act like that, and you're always on the fence, and you ain't loyal to nothing. you just like, well, I'm trying to. And it's like, bro, pick a fucking side. Pick a side. That's it. Pick a Sorry. side, pick a side. That's what it is. Seafood, nope, I ate it. What? Also, I love seafood. I mean, yeah, I guess. I this, love seafood too. I guess this is a cool. Hey. That was the crab. <laughs> Under the I sea. love Sebastian. Bro. He's not a lab- lobster. Rastafarian king. Oh, he's a lobster. He's a lobster. No, oh. he's a crab. Are you sure? A hundred percent. Why is he so long? What? He's just outside of his shell. He looks. Long. That's his soft part, out of the shell. Are he's a sure? crab. He's a crab. I feel like the only crab we recognition we get on TV is I fucking promise- Mr. Krabs. I promise. Uh, yeah, and he's cheap as fuck. Right? Yeah. But we, we just, have Sebastian. Sebastian. Are you sure is Sebastian's a, a crab? He looks like a lobster. My dude. Google that is it. a crab. He grabbed her by the neck? Yeah, he grabbed See, her by the this chin. this movie? Hey. This a little tiny man grabbing a bad bitch by the neck. Like, bitch. She's so pretty. She is. Can we just agree? Yeah, These we movies. Did. You feel me? I do. I do feel you. I'm glad <laughs> that we agreed on that because if I would have told you about Avatar and you would have been like, what? I would have been like, what? But I feel like that's a bad bitch. No, sometimes they'd be really animating the shit out of these bitches. Like all of the... <laughs> all the 90s R&B. All of the I mean, like, Incredibles. Like they're, bo- they're buying them. Cooked. Like Jesus Christ. Yo, they thick. Thick as fuck. And that was before thick was thick. It's ridiculous. Like, so <laughs> who ridiculous. was animating? Mrs. Incredible? Who was animating this shit before? Before you know, thick was thick. Before Nicki Minaj, who was animating these bodies and was like, "I'm make this bitch with a fat ass." I respect anyone that was fucking a bitch with a fat ass in like the '90s or the '80s. I respect that. I feel especially like, white men that was like out here like, "Bitch, I got this shit." I'm like, hey, I'd like, be like, "Yo, that's my dude right there, fucking Josh." <laughs> oh no, I feel like I don't know, man. Ass is universally liked. I feel like it's, for it's, us it, though we're Latinas it's just though the, it's just the media like I feel like it's just the media that tells us this, a narrative that's not true but like in real life people love ass like nobody sees a woman with ass walk by and is like wow she, except girls who are jealous girls who are jealous are like wow true. she's so fat or whatever the fuck but like they wish they had that ass like they wish that when they walked down the street bitches was looking at them you know like at the end of the day it's jealousy that fuels that kind of conversation of yeah. like oh I don't like that you know, because I feel like women judge each other's bodies so much more than men judge our bodies. Like, you know? Yeah. No, of At course. the end of the day, all those little think pieces are written by women and all the, are, are gay folks that like don't, aren't even attracted to women. It's like, like there's no men out here like, I hate a bitch with a big ass. Like, except yeah. like maybe some like weird white men who are like very into themselves. And also intimidated. And also, if you can't reach, you can't reach. Like, if that if big your dick ain't gonna fit, it's not yeah, gonna work. If that you know? big ass is intimidating you because it ain't gonna get there, then that's on you. You don't know what to do with it. Like, you that's you. Pull it up, if really, if you really wanted to. You could do something. You something can. can happen. There's mm-hmm. a lot that could happen. But it'd be out there, like... But to be honest, women are fucking beautiful. And if you don't see that shit... And if you're another woman that doesn't... If you're another woman that doesn't appreciate women for every fucking thing they got going on, like there gotta be a little self loathing going a hater. on. You're a fucking hater. Cause it's like, bro, Stop like you got a hater. If you're a woman that doesn't think every woman is beautiful, then like what do you really think? Because there's gotta be things that you don't like about yourself that somebody else might see and like about you. Projections. So it's like let's 
like every type of woman and support every type of woman. Like when you when you see another bad bitch and you be like, yo, you fucking fine. To me, you don't even gotta be gay. If you ever walk up to me and you're like, yo, you look fucking good. Like I'm not gonna take that as every, a green light to hit on you. I'm every, gonna be like, yo, this bitch is a real bitch. Every single time I see a pretty woman, I tell them. Like every time. Me too, but because I, I'm dressed how I'm dressed, they think I'm hitting on them. But I'm like, no, sometimes I'm really just hyping you up, bitch. I like that though. I like for them to think that I'm hitting on them. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're a fine ass bitch. Like uh, we, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about bitch. You're a fine ass bitch. Dress like this. It's like the, if I'm telling you, you fine as fuck. You might be like, oh well, I'm not lesbian. I'm like, neat, but I'm not fucking trying to hit on you, bitch. I'm just saying you fine as fuck. Don't let this bastard, this short little fucking Don't tiny shit, the make you feel like get shit. You, down. you feel me? I'm like, yo, you go, you fucking fine ass bitch. That's it. Take that and run with it. Why are we gonna? I'm in Rihanna land. Cheers, Rihanna. Cheers. Y'all are like almost a full 180 from being the cu- the couple that gets hit on by somebody on the outside <laughs> to being the one that, let me get in on that. <laughs> Yo, is he not defending the fucking guy? No, I'm just observing. I'm just saying. It's a fact. It's just it's like, a, that's a fact. I, I that's maybe see, we just I, think I was, highly of women that when we're I was, like, Yo, women should be able to do whatever we want. I and, also. I don't see. I, I I think that men have rights too. Don't get me wrong, but um, I feel they like do. also they go right to there's the a trash. lot of there's a lot of oh, girls. Sorry. Hey, sorry. There's a lot of <laughs> girls who are in relationships with trash as men, and that's when I remember when I was saying like I like to like com- confuse a straight girl. Like I love, I love when like a straight girl is like in a bad relationship, and then we become friends, and then they realize, oh maybe I like girls. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can we talk about how Maybe you I'm just attracted said, to her. You said girls might be dating a trash ass man, right? Yeah. Okay. So if a girl's dating a trash ass man and accepts anything, but whenever she's with a girl, she has these super high ass fucking standards. Don't you think that somehow sexism. that's sexism? Of course. Like a man can be trash, have no job, no car, no nothing, mad baby mamas, all kinds of shit. That's fine. But a woman has to do a million fucking things in order for her to even feel like maybe she's deemed worthy to fucking date her. Don't you think that's sexism? And don't you think that would make somebody be like, yo, you sexist as fuck. Like that's wild as fuck. Cool. Whatever. Do your thing. Whatever you want to do. I just think however as, it's as like, society, well, that's wild. Like I y'all think, bitches. I just think as a society shit. we have we naturally have lower expectations for how men are gonna behave. Yeah, but that's fucking stupid. That's just like our moms that oh, they applaud whenever your son does something, but whenever your daughter does something, you wanna talk shit. Like you a sexist ass bitch. Just fucking admit that shit and that's it. They like can't. stop going around traumatizing people. Like if you wanted a man, you should have just said that shit. Let me. Oh, sorry. Ooh. What? Do you right, want to well, take some was... sake with me? I mean, it'll be our yeah. last one. This is our last one? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to make you drink more. I thought we was going to strip I'm finishing club. this motherfucking bottle. Yeah, it is like... Hey! Oh! I'm okay. so close yeah, at this point. Been... At this point, this looks Are like sake. Are we really going to the strip club? Chata and tequila, and you got sake. Huh? What is that? So muddy. What is or that? Oh, oh, you put torchata in it. <laughs> what did you think? My tequila got a yeast infection? Yikes. I mean, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I, did not, I did not think your tequila developed a decent today, infection. Today in a, I in said that. Shotgun. I made a couple, a, a couple <laughs> jokes like that. Because she was like, oh, because you know I own a tour bus, right? <coughs> what? I own a tour bus. You own a tour bus? Yeah. Can I, can I rent your tour yeah, bus? Yeah, of course. Of course. So, but look, but my, my assistant literally comes today and was just like, hey, by the way, the, the bus is going for its annual check. And I was like, not the bus getting a pap smear. <laughs> <laughs> so today I was already fucking joking. And she's like, you're fucking stupid. I love making, I love making my assistant laugh because she's just <laughs> like, you're fucking dumb. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks and here you are being stupid about real shit. And I'm like, my bus is getting a pap smear right now, guys. Let's how hope many, everything's good. How many shots of tequila have you had? Have you had that whole bottle? No, I shared this with my brother and her and people. Yeah. Oh. No? I yeah. literally, Should I have I three shots of tequila alone? and I'm on the motherfucking floor. Like, I'm Mexican. I got it. Got it. <laughs> Cheers. I have traumas. Cheers. I'm a sad bitch. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Mm. Let's talk about the piña video more. Okay, what do you I feel want? like we haven't talked about it at all. What do you want? What do you want to talk about? Has it even hit a million, bro? You at have? this point, I'm fucking disappointed in all of us. Touch my face one more time. <laughs> Sorry, you had you had 
alcohol. So I did it again. Do it, what, what? I'm not gonna do nothing again. Oh, why? Because what happened? We're on camera. What? Because we're on camera. Like that's what you, all. What do you want me to do? No, I'm just. I just took. I just wiped your chin because you had alcohol on it. Oh, okay. And you weren't doing anything about it, and it was bothering me. I'm sorry. You're for bothering you. No, you, you didn't bother me. The drip bothered me. <laughs> the drip. Drip too hard. <laughs> drip too drip hard. Drip too hard. <laughs> I like that. How do you know it wasn't on purpose? I mean, well, I want to be taking care of. You got what you of. wanted then. <laughs> I, I haven't yet, but we will get there. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk about again? <laughs> what happened? Ask us questions. I mean, I'm about taking, the I'm Because people call me a punk, so if they want to hear me talk, I could talk my shit. Okay, no. Even if it's for Narnia right here or fucking Avatar or whatever this shit is. What's up? What do you want to talk about? The fucking um, piña video. Did it even hit a million? It didn't. It's almost about to. It's close. Uh, is that bad? I mean... Why are you mad about it? Growth is growth. It came out... It can. It didn't come out that long ago. It came out in you December, don't get no? Video. Oh. No, but we had queer women shoot it. Stop. Did we... Did we? For the most part. Or did they outsource? Uh, play the video real quick. Play me a, a little clip. I'm not talking shit. You know. Hey. Turn it up. Hey. And what? I love this fucking song. That shot right there, fire. when i was getting high as fuck trying to get this shot they were all so mad that we didn't kiss i know i was like i was like one second away from doing it but then also you had just told me you had kissed somebody else in the music video and i was like oh i don't i didn't special. kiss nobody in the music video oh sorry am i ruining about? a shot no i don't even have a video of you kissing anybody hmm. am I, do i kiss somebody in a music video i don't think <laughs> so no i don't do I have a you want to bet a thousand dollars? Out right now? No, probably coming out. Meha, I don't have any other videos. I don't know. When you first showed up, you said something like that, and I was like, oh, like she already kissed somebody in the video. I was like, no, because oh. I, I was this close. That technically, I could have just, but I didn't. Mm, you could have, because I'm jealous. No, oh, well, I'm sorry that you're jealous of an imaginary situation. That's crazy. That's what she said? That's what she said right now? Okay, cool. <laughs> so even the... Okay, all right, bet, bet, bet. You know oh, what? I'm like, okay, wait, okay, okay, they're right, they're right. Always love. You're right, guys, I'm sorry. I totally kissed that I'm guy. I'm jealous of an imaginary situation, no, right? so... Girls love to make so... me look crazy. No, okay, my bad. You're right. I'm sorry. I completely forgot about that. He was fine as fuck, too. I liked him. Okay. At least it's not a trash man. And he was fun. Like, he was cool. He was a cool guy. He's from New Orleans. <sighs> that's great. So anyway, well, that's the I reason, that's to the real reason to. why you I never kissed nobody. You didn't nobody. do nothing. That's you the real reason why you know? I never kissed nobody. Was because it had already happened. So once once it just happened, I was like, oh, well, this isn't exciting no more. Now I'm like, oh, well, great. So That could have been an opportunity. You took it as a, as a defeat, and it could have been an opportunity. For what? For you to kiss me. Hmm? Yeah. 
No, it just felt like mm, you just got kissed in your last video. This isn't exciting no more. I feel like the first time By we a boy. ever kiss. I feel like the first time we ever kiss is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be like special. So I'm gonna let you do whatever you doing. Ooh, you want to take a shot of sake? Yes. Yeah. Take Definitely. a no, no, no. Pour some more. Pour some more. I just I look. I got the long game. I'm good. Pour some more. Even Pour as some friends, more. even as friends, if we ever, you know what I mean, like it'll it'll be well. I'm all, in the I'm, future when you're like I'm not available 30. Currently, no, I get it. I get it. No, I'm totally fine with that. Neither. We vibing. Oof. Oh. <laughs> when your friend be doing shit like that. <laughs> you feel um, me? Oh, that would have been that would have been the best opportunity. Probably though. that was the setup. There was a setup. No, I don't like that. I get, I get what, I get the frustration though, because I do be watching like gay videos or like gay things or whatever, and then I'm like, when when the tension is the only thing that happens, it's like, bro, why didn't you give it to us? Because that's all it is. It's just supposed to be tension. I feel like that is the gay experience though. That is the lesbian experience. That is the bisexual experience. It's like the tension is like 99% of the vibe, until it isn't. You know. Anyways, next question. <laughs> Next question! <laughs> that was me leaving the piña video high as fuck. That is you as fuck. That was me leaving the piña video like, wait, I gotta get the fuck I out of here. Go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, I don't know what's going on, but get me the fuck pee. out of here. I have to be. Okay. Uh, but I don't, me and Will, we, you good. we have been live for two hours and 35 minutes. Oh, shit. You want to get off? Are you serious? Well, we can get off. Yeah. I mean, We've been here for two and a half hours? Yep. Oh, my God. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Are they st- and there's still 4,000 people. It's consistent. We good. I mean, you could pee and come back. I'm going to be right back. Yeah. She going to be right back. I'll be right back. And I'll be the one talking to y'all about, you know, why you don't kiss your friends. You also don't fuck your friends. You don't. If you do, you're desperate. If you if you fuck and kiss your friends, see this is you're fucking desperate because you think that affection and attention is all mm, nice. My people got my back. I love that shit. I love that people got my fucking back. You know, but yeah, you're fucking desperate. The only people that should, you feel me? Like, how many girls I be around? How, how much shit? That's my friend right there. However, if I ever did kiss her, you get her some toilet. You got the toilet paper for. (laughs) She asked for the toilet paper right here. Now she don't got no toilet paper in there. Help her out. Wait, where is it? How am I gonna do it? Wait, where is it? Am I blind? Oh, Oh, I'm like looking at the table. Oh my god. What? Okay, so who's gonna entertain them? Um, Give it to her. That's why we should have ended it, man. No, you know, no, we good. Right. Yo, all right, so you entertain them then. I'm going to get her some toilet paper. Gotcha. All right, here, woman. Literally last time, I suggested to finish it. Then what? Went too overboard. No, we not overboard right now. Went, though. It, it goes. It go- all right, it's going to be all right. We're going to get out of here. And then when there's just a sudden cutoff, because we have to edit the podcast. <sighs> That's almost better. Put the podcast out there and delete the end of it because we usually get lit. But no, listen. I didn't look in there. Look, the way I hand you toilet, toilet paper, I open the door. I throw it in there. Don't look. Throw it in there. The same reason that I don't cheat at board games is the same reason that I don't kiss my friends or fuck my friends. It's the same reason why I don't be a fucking weirdo. I like it. To make sense eventually by the way i'm not even talking about her i have other friends that look at this hi hello look at this cat (laughs) oh what (laughs) she's the cat said listen i'm not landing anyway but up brother but as a mom how is that making sense Oh, I'm a little. I'm a little upset. Play some '90s R&B. What song? What '90s R&B song do you know? What's your favorite song that's ever? Lot, that's a lot of songs. 
Okay, if you were to just be like in your room, you about to do your makeup, and you're like, I'm, I want to feel good. Hmm. Um. Give me a moment. Something Destiny's Child. Bills, bills, bills. Bills, can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my automobile bills? If you did, maybe we could tell. Yeah, y'all can sing I it. I don't think you do. Hey. So you and me all through. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. That, that shit. Bills? Say my, that's how I say my name. Hey. So you were a big Beyonce fan, Huge. Destiny Child fan. Huge. I like Huge. that. That's Huge. dope. I that's love B. To the day I die. I, I love that. everything she makes. I loved Renaissance so much. Uh, you're the person that told me to play that shit, and I played it a few different times in a row, just in the car driving. I feel like falling in love. Mm -hmm. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Now I'm fucking What's something What's today? Wednesday? Up, Thursday? Baby. Tuesday? What is it today? I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> oh, I already have it. Always love. So that was your song, huh? That is my song. Nice. It's a good one. That's a good one. I did. I kissed Cheers. a man. Cheers. Moment of silence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't play a sound effect. <sighs> Can um, Coded Raindrops is a good one. You said, is there going to be a Butter Part 2 video? There is. No. Oh. Butter. There is going to be a butter part too. Buttermilk. Wait, so did he have butter? Yeah, the way you make buttermilk is with butter and vinegar. Is oh, wait, separated? no, milk and, milk and vinegar. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, wait, so he didn't end up with butter? Which, I like, I started out with a ranch thinking like, oh, yeah, it's going to be cool. But then now that I'm really making French toast with real chicken fresh eggs and now i'm making buttermilk with like milk and vinegar and like you know the chicken is getting cooked now i'm like okay bet like we really getting into homesteading like that's what vibe we on in la by the way so it's lit you yeah know? they say the chick the I'm egg lit. prices are like way high yeah so are you you live in florida no i live here both or just here i live you here. you visit your family but, but you yeah my here. family's out there that's lit. Yeah. Would you ever get chickens? Would I ever eat chickens? Get chickens. Yeah. Get you ever buy them? chickens? Would I ever buy some? Yeah, when I have my own ranch. Nice. I like that. Absolutely. I was telling my real estate agent today because she came I by and she chickens. dropped by and visit. And I was like, yo, I feel like all my friends should live in this area. And let's get rid of all these fucking super old people that are racist. I'm with it. I'll take Get rid house. of these old racist people. And also, get rid of some of these weird trees that don't make sense. Because if younger people owned ranches around here, we would all take care of it like, yo, we don't want this to be a fire hazard. Right, we but need some mango of the, trees. Some of the old people, they're like, you know, all these old, crusty um, eucalyptus trees. Which, it's cool if you have a eucalyptus bush. I love eucalyptus trees. Yes. If you have a eucalyptus bush and you cut some, you put it in your shower, I got you. I like but once you have these old, crusty trees, they're flammable. And they let out this oil that, like, makes it explodes and it makes everything else light on fire. Really? So old people don't give a fuck. They're just like, oh, it's a tree. It's nice. And it's like, no, take care of it. Make it be a bush or something. Because what you're doing around the neighborhood is if some crackhead throws a fucking cigarette, now next thing you know, the whole shit just lit on fire because you want to have a fucking crusty eucalyptus tree. Damn. I mean, I won't go as far as to say that eucalyptus trees Deport them. are crusty. Deport eucalyptus trees. They don't even belong here. That, so what I feel for sure, though... Build a wall. <coughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like we should absolutely um, be planting more native trees. That I agree with. I agree with that. Maybe a, a eucalyptus here and there instead of like a, a, a whole fire hazard of like a block of them. But also plants that like, yes, one native to here, but also that like we really know that are not going to fucking cause the fire hazard. There's a reason they live somewhere else. Where's Chisel? She's from New Zealand, like Australia, New Zealand. You like eucalyptus That's trees. You got eucalyptus koalas. From, huh? Yeah, like koalas is eating them. It's all being, you know, there's like nature's doing its thing. If you just bring a eucalyptus here, ain't nobody munching on that shit. So all it's doing is growing, and then they get real crusty, and then they got those little skin flakes that they drop everywhere, and then that shit's flammable. We don't want that shit. I agree. I agree. 
citrus citrus does very well avocado does well i love citrus i have citrus i have um apples i have mandarin you tangerines have apple trees? yeah i have tangerines pears do you collect oranges do you yeah eat? i mean we eat them whenever Can they're here the lime me a lemons fruit basket dude yeah I love a fruit basket. I'm drunk, by the way. Oh, yeah. We can I pick them. I think I reached the point. Oh, do you want to get off? You can no, get off? I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm having fun. Okay, personally. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's what I want to get to, right? Like trees, like the trees. earth. What does the earth do for us? What do we do for it? Like I this agree. conversation that we have with the universe. Like, what are we doing? Even though I dress like I do and I act like I do and I rap about what I do, honestly, I'm a hippie at heart. Like, I want. The reason I wanted to have, you have a, ranch, a ranch, bitch. Of course you're. Yeah, happy. I wanted a ranch. I wanted goats. You I wanted chickens. chickens. I wanted. I want a cow. I would, you know, I don't want horses only because all the horses around my neighborhood are depressed. They have a problem. So I'm like, yo, I don't want a horse. If unless I'm about to give that horse all the attention and love it wants, I'm not ready for a horse. You know, but yeah. cows, chickens. I might babysit one of my neighbor's horse. I might be like, yo, your horse looks depressed. Let they me watch your horse. Sad. I don't like it when they put those like blockers on them yeah. and they like, keep them blind all the time. I'm like, what the fuck kind of existence? Is and that? they lock them up like all like tiny. tiny little, I'm like, no, that's sad. I hate that shit, man. Let a wild animal be a wild animal, please. Yeah, straight up. But for me, I like all these animals, the chickens, all these. Like, fruits and vegetables and shit i grew a I mango tree, tree named reuben because my stepdad's name was reuben that my mom was in love with my mom tried to give like me him? dating advice yeah i didn't at the beginning but then i did like him but then my mom tries to give me dating advice and she's like don't worry you'll get over her you'll be fine and i'm like did you ever get over your love she's like it was reuben i was like did you ever get over him she's like no he just died i was like damn Coño. Está fuerte. so we planted a mango tree named reuben Oh, it's so we beautiful. love him. I know. R.I.P. Ruben. That's fucked up, but that goes to show you. Sometimes you don't get over people. They just one of you all just dies. Sorry. Drink to that. Yeah, the tree freaking every time it gets windy, it starts. Damn, Ruben's wallet. <laughs> yeah, like I, I like I. Every time I go, you know, do something for the goats, I I look over and. and the tree's well, since like it's been hey. winding, yeah. So I gotta like prop it back up with a stick and all this stuff oh my we tried to go oh, so bananas it's, 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 she's a newly born tree or he excuse me is yeah, a newly born like, tree yeah he's like been there for four, a year four or five feet so. so your grandkids will be able to eat the mangoes off that tree isn't that fucked up that you're gonna you have grow? grandkids one day I, I mean i'm a grandpapa right now my fucking childs that are goats they had kids oh i was gonna say man baby's too small like no way <laughs> You don't, don't hear about you, your you grandpa. Don't woke like, up, you don't think I woke up from no. a panic attack thinking that my son's only like four. If my son does what I was doing when I was four years from now, five years from now, could have a baby. That's a trippy thought. See, this is why I don't have kids. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to do that. Shit. I'm like, do not make me a grandpapa. I will punch you in the fucking face. Tampoco, mija. I know you. You're going to embrace the fuck out of that child. Oh my God. You would be like, I hate this. I'm so mad about it, but I fucking love this child. And you That's would be me, such right? a good grandfather, yes. I know. Yeah, you take care of your people. I know. That's I beautiful. Hate that about me. No, that's a I beautiful that fucking me. quality, dude. Embrace that shit. That's beautiful. I had somebody hit me up like, I know I just fucked you over really badly, but this could bring us closer. No. I'm like, what the, the fuck? The answer is no. <laughs> You can't be coming nope. to me with, um, hey, I know I fucked you over, but no. I know that no. I know no. that this is gonna make you feel like shit, but but you could take care of it. Then you're like, <sighs> that's disgusting. People need to stop having audacity. Let's leave the audacity in 2022, everyone. Can we please? Please leave the audacity in 2022. The audacity. The audacity. I'm Ooh. hungry. Do you? They said they do need tacos. Yeah, the, the, but the also, Mexican food and the sushi? yeah, the, the the food is all here. We oh. got Japanese food, the we got tacos, we got everything, all we right, got worldwide, well. <laughs> international baby. Hey, if we end up <laughs> listen. All right, so we appreciate you guys. We love you guys so much for fucking being on the podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Lauren, for being of here. Of course, I appreciate I had so you. Much I love fun. you as a fucking friend, as a support system. This girl has fucking helped me in ways that y'all motherfuckers will never understand. 
thank God that I have a fucking friend in this person. So I love you so much. Thank you for showing up for us of right course. now. Thank you to the fans. I appreciate y'all. And if anything goes down later on, whatever y'all see us on TikTok, we'll we definitely be fucking popping up or whatever. Yeah. Make sure y'all keep in touch on with, with Lauren's TikTok, with my TikTok, all that shit. We love you guys. And um, I'm sure we'll do this again soon. Someday. I'm down as fuck. This is but fun at, as hell. But at the end of the day right now, thank you. It's been what? Almost three hours. I appreciate y'all. Thank I you. Know, we just casually talked for three hours. Casually. Wow. We might fuck around and do this again just because we we best. Part we two. playing catchphrase. Part two, part, two. part two. If you want part two, just keep letting us know. Blow this shit up. Let us know. Comment on her. Comment on me. Interact <laughs> with our shit. And we'll see you guys for part two. We love y'all. Love y'all. Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a panta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for? I pick up. Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer. I'm about to shake it up and check the Richter. This a sticker. You say some things your numbers don't say. I got some kids with toys that don't play. Kilo de azúcar pa mi con flakes. I don't need roses, pour me rose. No soy santa. Baby, yo soy vale madre, faca chancla. Lo que yo si tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa pa pam, ram, pa pa pam. No soy, no soy santa. Baby, yo soy vale madre, faca chancla. Lo que yo si tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa pa pam, ram, pa pa pam, pam. Don't try to play me, baby. I'ma meet you at which means I've been a Mexican snack and I'll split your banana. Solo yo sé mi rollo, guayaba. También sácate cana. Me encanta la línea de Fanta porque nadie me aguanta. Por eso I've been on my grind. I've been on my grind. It's been cold and I've been on, but my name's Snow. I got it. And it's ice on my chest. You can suck a paleta if you hate. Aquí se respeto, te empaco maleta por güey. No soy santa. Baby, yo soy vale madre, fa 